excited for some basketball today. It's going to be great. I cannot wait. We got some good matchups. The women's series so far has been a very tight race. It's been amazing. Now we're just going to keep going with some more basketball. It's going to be awesome. Again, I'm Jordan Liggins. Beautiful day. Look at the weather. The sun is shining. It's FIBA 3x3. We got a full day of hoops for the women's series for you. And I hope you're ready. Game number one is Battle of Germany. That's what I'm going to call it. We got the Germany team and we got Dusseldorf Zeus, the new German commercial team that's been on the weekend. Um, they've been showing out. Also, I think they might have the best on the whole tour. Um, just my opinion. But that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm going. If you're new to 3x3, let me tell you a couple of the rules. Half court, one hoop, two teams, three players on the court at one time, plus a substitute. There is no in-game coaching. That is a really key tip here. No coach. You're on your own. You just got to coach each other up. I don't know. You don't get a coach. The game is super fast. Ten-minute game, 12-second shot clock, no halftime. You just, you're running nonstop. That's probably my favorite part. And it's super entertaining. The game is over at 21 points, even before the time runs out. First team to 21 wins. Nonstop music. The fans are in it. I know these Canadian fans love their 3x3, so they are here to party. I wish I was there. I miss being there in person, but it's all right. We're going to watch and we're going to cheer on from, from the feed. 3x3 is always played in iconic location in the heart of the cities, just like here. Seems like it's right off the water. It is beautiful. Who would not want to play basketball here? It looks like a great time. But with those outside environments, you know, you got to make sure that you're testing the wind. If you shoot a two-pointer, is the breeze going to take it with it? <laughs> All of those things that you have to consider while playing outside. This is the Quebec stop. The next stop is Uben in August 26th to 27th. Montreal, they'll be back in Canada September 2nd to 3rd. But all of this is the countdown to Constana, September 17th and 18th for the finals. Both of these teams are trying to punch their ticket to go all the way. Got some people in the crowd ready to cheer on Germany. Number one overall. Definitely the favorite to, to, to get another win at another stop here. They've already won back-to-back -back titles early in the women's series. 
Um, they're in a tough pool A. France, Germany, Lithuania, and Dusseldorf Zeus. That is a tough pool. We'll see who makes it out alive. <laughs> okay, not that dramatic. But that's what we're kicking off with today. In Pool B, we have Canada, Spain, USA, and Czech Republic. USA is trying to get their first title. Let's see if they can do it, but they will have to stop both of these teams to get there. Again, this Germany team, they are they move so well as a unit. They've been playing together for a really long time. Their star player, Zonia Graneher, one of the top players in the entire women's series and multiple MVP winner, including winning the MVPs of both of their stop titles at Tel Aviv and Pointers. Dusseldorf is a, is a newcomer. They're, they're a new team on this market. Um, the first time commercial teams are even allowed on the women's series. And again, you see those nice jerseys. The logo, it's very artsy. They have their own, their own vibe going on. Sponsored by Jordan Brand. We're going to have some, some kicks cam later. Both of these teams are getting ready. We're getting close to the tip-off time. I'm so excited. I, I haven't done a play-by-play -play in, in a little bit, but every time I watch like three seconds of a 3x3 competition, I wish I was out there playing. They're so much fun. So if you have never watched a 3x3 game before, get ready. Buckle your seat belts because it's fast. And it is nonstop. I know that I'm not in great shape. Watching these players, you will be reminded of how out of shape you actually are because they have to be in the top shape to play at this level and in the 3x3. See that they're playing at the Port Quebec. Also, don't forget, it's a 12-second 12 12 second shot clock. Remember I talked about how it goes so fast? 10-minute games, 12-second shot clock. You have to clear the ball outside the three-point line for each possession. And then you go. You just keep going. That 12 second shot clock is really probably my favorite part of the 3x3 because you don't really have time to set up a play or do too much. You just gotta do a crossover and go. And that's what these players do. They're really good at it too. Lou Rodefeld is a staple on this German team for their 3x3 competition. And Zeus is, this is their breakout time. They're, they're wanting to place higher than fifth. That is the, the highest rank that they've had so far. They made it to the quarterfinals, but it starts with, this would be a huge win for them right off the bat. A lot of these players have some crossover, both being based in Germany. The commercial teams have been a really great addition to 3x3. Um, really being able to uh, expand, you know, not only national teams, but having these commercial teams that are founded by players. For Zeus, uh, Katsuda 
founded this team for women empowerment. She wanted to have another outlet for basketball. And so she was able to find a com- uh, found a commercial team. And I love that there's that possibility. More players, more teams playing 3x3 is what we can definitely get behind. We love that. I'm sure a lot of people in the crowd are waiting to see their hometown, Canada. Canada will be coming up next, playing against Czech Republic. Canada team is definitely one to beat. They are undefeated. Can they remain undefeated? That is going to be the key. While we're here, and before we get started, make sure to follow FIBA 3x3 on all social platforms. Stay up to date. Keep with the highlights. Follow at FIBA 3x3. size. The first two back to back, led by Greiner, number 14 in white. They haven't got a title since. So I know that they're hungry for another one. They just have winning in their DNA. That's just what they do. They've been on the Women's Series tour for a while now. But the, the competition is, is fierce. 
It's already been six different winners across the eight stops this season. Only Germany and Canada, who we will see play next, have won multiple stops. So there's definitely more parity this season. But Germany... I'm sure they're they're ready to get back to winning those titles. Come up short a couple times, but also like we talked about in Pool A, which we are going to start off with with pool play today. It's Germany, Lithuania, France, and this squad right here, Dusseldorf, Zeus. Very, very, very tough pool, but we... We'll see who comes out on top. I'm I'm guessing that Germany is going to be pretty hungry to get some more W's on on the board. Almost ready for game one of day one for the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series. Quebec stop. Getting some extra warm up time here. I personally love that they get to warm up together. It's one hoop, so typically there's different layup lines on different sides of the court when it's five on five, but it's just the, the culture of 3x3. We're in this together, one big team. And I feel like you can, you know, pick up on the scouting report really up close and personal if you're in the same layup line <laughs> so strategy wise i think this works out as well You say you got 
Here we go, getting ready for the game one, Germany versus Dusseldorf Zeus. Germany is the favorite, really the team to beat in the entire tournament. And it starts with that lady right there, Zonia Greiner. Former MVP, star of this German team, and Lou Rodefeld, sharpshooter, point guard of this squad. And then Simon. Wilka, such a smart basketball player. Together, it's really hard to stop this Germany team. But if anyone is up for the challenge, it is the other German team, Dusseldorf Zeus. Aoi Katsua is the founder of this Zeus squad. Founded it in April of this year. And now they're already on their well into their first women's series. Um, she's very much into fashion, very artsy, and I feel like their logo, design, and colors really reflect that, which is so fun. This is going to be the battle, the matchup that we are excited for. Drina her versus Katsuda. Another thing that I love about 3x3, you know, typically we would probably categorize those players as post players, but you kind of got to play all positions here. We got the starters getting ready for game time. Ama Degbon looks like she will be checking the ball for Dusseldorf Zeus with the ball first. And here we go. Day one begins. Pass inside. It comes up a little short for Degbon. Gets it back, passes out to Katsuya. Nice drive, finish with the right hand. Rebound, Jeremy gets it to Greiner. Back to Wilka, pull up. No good, short. Degmon with the rebound. Ooh, nice cross. Oh, rims out. Way to get to the basket. This German team going through Greiner. Lou for pull up, no good. Rebound Katsuda. And turnover, throws it out of bounds for Sta. With another look at that switch hands midair for Katsuda, that was nice. Germany with the ball. Greiner, shuffle pass. Inside to Greiner, post up. Good, that is her bread and butter. All of her money comes in the paint. Good block there. Out to Rodefeld. Back out to Griner. Her shoot to two. In and out. Yuka with the ball now to Degbon. Oh, try to do a little give and go, but a foul is called. First team foul. Spade, 
Little horns action, high post. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Katsuda takes it herself, comes up short. Simone with the rebound and she's fouled. You reach, I teach. Germany with the ball. Wilka with it at top. Shuffle pass to Kreiner. <laughs> that was beautiful. Could have took it herself, but pass it off. Yuka has it up top. Back to Degbon. Katsuda. And shot clock violation. One too many passes there. Again, this is a 12-second shot clock. You got to move quick. Reinhardt takes a quick breather. Wilka has it up top. Rodefeld drives to the left side, pivots. Back out to Wilka. She's surveying, has two seconds on the shot clock. Rims out. Stah with it up top. To Degbon and Germany tips it out of bounds. Reset for Zeus. There we go. There's the score. I was worried about that. Shot clock violation. Katsuda had to throw up a prayer. And it was not answered. Germany taking it out. Reiner gets stuck underneath, finds her way, and finds the basket. Three to one. Germany with the lead. Nice take by Rodefeld. She's so good at that. Sneakily going inside. Pump fake drive for Yuka. That's in. Four to two. Oh, that's a mismatch. Mouse in the house. That was too easy. Too easy for Griner for the MVP. Hand off. Oh, and one. Great take. Great take by Yuka here. Way to switch hands to ensure the contact. Germany had a hot start, five, five points. But uh, Zeus isn't going anywhere. Five to three, they're keeping it close. Again, this is a game. First to 21 or whoever is winning after the 10 minutes are up. I love 3x3. You got to love this game. So fun. So much talent. We got a free throw here for Yuka. And she drills it. Back inside to grind her. Mismatch. Too easy. Too easy. Hezzy. Reverse. And they ran out of time again. Another shot clock violation for Dusseldorf Zeus. They got to get into their, their sets quicker. A little too much dribbling around the perimeter. But they're still close. Six to four. Germany with the ball and with the lead. Screen coming. Wilka cradles it, dishes it. Zeus with it. Great take, turn, spin, right hand hook, rims out. So many times that has happened for Degbon. Oh, great pass. Wonderful dime. Kreiner with another bucket. Katsuya. Trying to get it inside to Degbon. She takes it. Easy money. The clear for Germany. And 
another easy layup for crying to her. She's proven why she is the MVP. Nine to five. Degbon, tough shot. Oh, in and out almost. The and one for Degbon. If all of her layups have dropped just like this one, it would be a different story. She's just finding her touch in this first game on day one. But right now, she's at the charity stripe. Can't convert. Rotofeld out to Grineher. Wilka for two, just short. Zeus with the rebound. And Germany tips it out of bounds. Nine to five. Just about to hit the 530 mark. Degbon taking it, spins with the left hand, banks it in. Reinehart clears it out. Try to go for the steal. Wilka fakes the pass and makes the layup. Ten to six. For two. That's good. For Emma Sta. Grinehart keeps it herself, shoots the free throw line jumper. Rotefeld with the rebound and put back and one. That's just what Lou do. Really the heartbeat of this Germany team, Rotefeld. So consistent. Can score a multitude of ways and make great passes like we've already seen so far. Yuka dribbling it out to Katsuya. Three seconds on the shot clock. Got to shoot the two. Just short. Simon into Grineher. She stops. They don't have an answer. They don't have an answer for the former MVP. Katsuya drive, pull up. That's good. 9 to 13. Germany still with the lead. Back inside to Grineher. Another layup. Four and a half minutes to go. And that shot is no good by Emma Stock. Another look at that pull up jumper. Just a beautiful, beautiful thing of the basketball game. The pull up, Jay. Grinder with it inside. Back out to Wilka. Oh, oh, my goodness. Yuka, where are you at? Wait, wait. We need another look at this. Beautiful move by Wilka. Ooh, where are you at? Oh, my goodness. That will be in the highlight reel. I can almost guarantee it. 15-9, Germany up top in game one on day one of FIBA 3x3. Nice spin move, drop step for Degbon. She puts it in. That left-hand layup has been a specialty for her. Dusseldorf Zeus still knocking on the door, down by five. Wilka has to throw it up, and it almost goes in to avoid a shot clock violation. Degbon takes the two, no good. Gets the steal to Katsuda. Lays it in, 11 to 15. Dusseldorf Zoof is not going away. Rodefeld fakes, drives, kicks out to Wilka, has to put it up, blocked. Oh, and Zeus throws it out of bounds. That would have been a key play for them. Another look at that steal and pass. That's how fast you got to move in this 3x3 world. We have a timeout on the floor so everyone can catch their breath. Myself included. Great matchup so far. Degbon has really been trying to carry this team with the matchup of Grineher inside, but Katsuya with the pull-up jumper has also been doing her part. But another look at this. Oh, oh. Whoo. Wilka with the... 
sauce. Germany with the ball goes inside to Grineher. Nice play. Rodefeld gets blocked, gets her own rebound, and puts it back in. Yuka inside to Degbon. She's going to work. Driving layup. Comes up short. Grineher is not only an offensive threat, she is also a defensive presence in there. Three seconds on the shot clock. Shoots a turnaround. No good. Degbon with the rebound. Got a foul on Rodefeld. Trying to go for the steal and just missed it. 16-11, 245. Katsuda, spin move, left hand. Oh, rims out. Inside to Grinerher. She's working in there. They don't have an answer but to foul. Smart foul by Katsuda. Foul count is currently five to two. You definitely don't want to get too many fouls, and then you're giving up free throws. So, still plenty of enough time to be smart with those fouls. Tough bucket there. Comes up short. Zeus with the rebound. Katsuda into Degbon. Got to go. Three seconds. Has to throw it up. Comes up short. Tries to go for the rebound. No good. German ball. And Degbon gets the steal, possibly. She's fighting out there. Ama Degbon is going a thousand miles an hour to kind of keep her team in this. Six seconds, easy pull up for Wilka. No resistance there. Steal. Inside to Grineher, easy layup for Germany. 18-11, they're getting close to that 21 mark. And Grineher, it's, it's been all about her. Out to Degbon, drives, spins, circus shot. Going a little too fast for her own good. She needed a sub after that one. Smart foul to stop the clock, regroup. Easy pull up for Wilka. And an easier layup for Zonya Greinaher, who has been on fire. She cannot be stopped. Eighteen, eleven, first game of the day. Next up, we have Canada versus Czech Republic. Let's see if Dusseldorf Zeus can come back. I'm sure they wish they had some of those layups back. Rodefeld with the drive. And one! Another and one for Luana Rodefeld. She is solid. She's so strong. Every time she drives to the basket, she really protected the ball, put her body between the ball and the defender, and makes him pay. Another point for Germany. They're only one point away from winning this one. Katsuya with the spin cycle. Makes it count. Uh-oh. Almost a steal there from Yuka. They're going to play until the last second. That's just how feisty this Dusseldorf Zeus team is. But only one more point. Rodefeld for two, trying to end it. Can't do it yet. Katsuya clears it. Out to Degbon. Katsuya for two. No good. Grineher clearing it. 
Rotafeld out, screen, and roll. Rotafeld keeps it herself. Gets ties up. Good foul. Good foul there by Staff. Only one more point. 37 seconds left. But it looks like Germany has this one in the bag. But you know who's been in her bag? Granaher. Oh, I wanted her to win that one for it. Oh, another one. Turn around. Fade away for the win. Sonia Griner. Why not? Shoot a fadeaway turnaround jumper for the win. 25 seconds remaining on the clock, but Germany does not need it. They take care of business in game one. 21 to 12 as the final score. Germany now up top of pool A. Dusseldorf Zeus got to be proud of the fight that they put up. Katsuya and Degbon really held it down. But Yuka had some great plays just like that one, the and one. And Emma Stah played some great defense. But Grineher is the player of the game for me. Alexandra Wilka also had some really, really nice moves for Germany. All around great first win. There it is. Whew. Whew. I hope I constantly see that on repeat. I will never get tired of it. Germany is so efficient. Every dribble, every pass is so pers purposeful. Katsuya put a lot of players in the spin cycle. Whoo! I hope you had as much fun as I did. Next game coming up is Canada and Czech Republic. And we are going to get straight to it. Hometown favorite, Canada. They are undefeated so far. They have won 10 straight games. Can Czech Republic disrupt that? We will see. But Canada has definitely been on a tear. Sure, the crowd is going wild on the Czech Republic side. Rozeska is the player to watch, number two in the nation for 3x3. Their current team rank is number 10 overall. Their last title was at Pointers in 2019, so they are also hungry for a title here. At Bucharest, they finished 10th. So they are taking on Canada in game two of day one here for the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series. Having a good time so far. I hope you are too. Shout out to the refs. Games are moving quick. Not too many fouls being called. That's what we like to see. For Team Canada, they have some top, top players repping for them. That was a very quick warm up, <laughs> trying to get back on track. Paige Crozon is the star of the show. Canada are without the Plouffe twins at this stop. The typical go-getters for their squad, but they still got some hitters. Mayel 
Mael Giles is the first time with Canada on the women's series, but she is from Quebec, so this is our hometown. Expect her to show out as well, but we're underway. All zeros. Looking inside to Paige. Shuffle pass baseline to Bosch. Hits the side of the backboard. It's all right. Didn't get that much of a warm up, so just knocking off the rust as it should. Quick sub. Mayel just rips the ball from Czech Republic for an easy bank shot from Croissant. Oh, nice spin move. Lost her. Oh. Okay, a little feisty on the rebound. This Czech Republic team. Really Ova. She's trying to fight for that rebound. Don't blame her. Giles with the acrobatic shot. A little out of control. Check with the rebound. Nice spin. Beautiful, beautiful shot. So it told. Pump fake. Giles to the basket. Bank shot and in. Two-pointer off the mark. Oh, quick move to the basket. Oh, rims out for Solitoba. Bosch just loses it, slips out of her hand. Bosch played for Gonzaga before finishing her career back in Canada at the University of Lethbridge. Solitova has it up top. And a foul called. High post action. Free throw line J off the mark for Katarzyna. Two pointer also off the mark. Rebound Bosch. Out to Cozon. Jab step, two pointer, good for Tina Mora. Air mails that one. Canada with the rebound. Inside to Grozon, knocked away. Czech Republic with the steal. They're down one to three. Oh, and the foul as Sotova drives to the basket. Nice spin jumper there. That was so smooth. Misses the free throw, but rebound and one for really over. See if she can make this one count at the charity stripe. No good. That's free money. Twice they have left it. Inside to, Ga to Giles. Working the paint. And she scores it. It is going to be a battle of the post. And gets called for three seconds. Another look at this Giles. Jab state. Jab fake. And off the backboard. Handoff, two-pointer, that's way short. Corzon off one foot, shot clock winding down, no good. Fighting for those rebounds. Battle inside. Giles, that is a height advantage, hits nothing. Corzon gets fouled. Can't put it back. 
Giles still looking like she's finding her touch with 3x3. Maybe shaking off some of those first time jitters. Corazon is the mom to her daughter Poppy, who is four. Already saw Poppy dribbling. Got a future hooper on our hands. Oh, nice take. No foul call, though. Bosch with the rebound. Out to Crozon. Running out of time. Shoots the two and drills it. Canada up 7-2. to two. Czech Republic got to get a score here to stay in the conversation. That layup rims out. Kick out. Oh, nice pass. Also an acrobatic. Marcel. Time out on the floor. This is a good one. This Canada team hasn't hasn't played too many games together. This isn't the exact same Canadian team that has been undefeated so far. Again, they're mo they're missing the Ploof twins on their squad, but still, they're in their hometown, their home stop, I should say, in Canada. Drake's territory, as the song may suggest. Czech Republic, they can go on a run here. Two pointers off the mark. Crozon dribbling, serving, passes it out to Giles, shoots the jumper, hits nothing. Nice pass inside. Oh! Blows the bunny. Foul on the play. Those are some quick hitters that the Czech Republic has to capitalize on. Merciel. Checking the ball, but the Czech Republic knocks that one out of bounds. Really Hova guarding the ball. Bosch with it, surveying. Gives it to Giles. Nice rip fake, gets fouled on the drive. Really nice take there. I think that is her strong point. She has the, the height advantage. She's long, lanky, went to Rutgers University, and then Arizona State. Also made it to the training camp for the Phoenix Mercury. She's like um, super lengthy. And one! Sutalova. Nice take on the baseline. Gets hit and still hits the shot. She's so smooth with it. Can't make the free throw. Czech Republic. Oh, missed the layup. Couple of these gimmies, I know they wish they can have back. Especially against this top Canada team, you're gonna have to make all of the little things like free throws and layups. That is key. Canada with it, 520 mark. Crozon pulls up from the free throw line. Misses it. Czech Republic with the rebound. Roseska off with the two-pointer. Curls on with another two-pointer. That's off. She gets her own rebound. Dribbles it out. Surveying out to Giles. Pump fake. Drives to the left. Off the backboard. No good. I am definitely chalking this up to first game jitters for, for Giles. Gets the rebound there. Looking for the play to develop. Shoots the long one-pointer. 
No good. Rebound. Shuffle pass inside to Bosch. Finishes the layup. Almost should have been an and one. Czech Republic, Roseska out to Rilihova. Oh, no shot for Captain Regina. Fought through that. A lot of contact out there. Eight to three, Canada up. Driving to the basket, surveying. Four seconds on the shot clock. Has to heave it, Roseska off the mark. Giles with the rebound. Driving, wanted the foul call, doesn't get it. That was a lot of contact, but also a lot of ball. Yeah, don't think you're gonna get that one. But you still got the lead, eight to three, Canada up, four minutes and 10 seconds. Czech Republic, this is their time to make a push. High post action. Two-pointer, no good. Rebound for Solitova is good. No basket there for Merciel. Shot, oh, okay. Thought it was a shot clock violation. Really, Hova, nice crossover with the left hand. Scores it. Eight to five, Crozon with the two-pointer. Try to put him away, no good. Rebound, Czech Republic. Pass inside to Solitova. She's trying to shake Giles, can't do it. It's definitely a height mismatch there. Crozon has it up top. She's gonna, she's, can't give her that much space. Step through, no good. Good defense there. Off the mark from two for Rilihova. Poked out of bounds. And we get a timeout on the floor. Everybody take a breath. Eight to five. A little low scoring in this second matchup. Two minutes and 58 seconds. But Czech Republic has not gone away. This is a Pool B matchup. Canada, Spain, USA, and Czech Republic all in Pool B. Tough competition all around. Still beautiful day for some basketball, especially some FIBA 3x3 basketball. Here in the Quebec stop. Canada is undefeated so far in the women's series. They are 10 and 0. Tough shot for Crozon. Drills it. Turnaround jumper. Czech Republic with the drive. Fake. Scores it. For Rosica. Crozon shoots the two. And that's why she is number five in the world, number two in the nation. Crozon putting on a clinic here from beyond the arc. Finds Boshkin sides, drives baseline, reverse layup, and one. Canada came out this time out with a fire under them. First, the Crozon two. She held the follow through, and now Bosch for a chance for a two point play. Makes him pay. This is getting out of reach for a Czech Republic as Rosica comes up short for that three. Crozon can't leave her open. Look at the flip flick of the wrist. As Czech Republic throws it out of bounds, they are rattled. Marcielle checks in to Giles. Out on the three-point line, drives it, a little out of control. Running out of time, two seconds. Oh, nice move. Oh, comes up short. Beautiful footwork there by Marcielle. 
crossover. Left hand layup is good for Riliova. Giles has it, one handed pass inside to Marcial. I love when guards try to post up each other. It's just art to me. 15-7. One and a half minutes left in this one. Again, coming up next is Lithuania and France. So we have a timeout on the play. Another matchup of Pool A coming up next. So far in this one, this has been all... Canada 15 to 7 definitely led by Paige Crozon she came into this game already having 48 points on the season she is just adding to it a lethal sharpshooter from beyond the arc Crozon Inside, some footwork, no good for Katarzyna. Bosch with it outside, passes it to Crozon, fakes the three, gets her own rebound, and puts it in. Another point for Crozon. Steal by Marcial. Bosch out to Crozon beyond the arc. Two-pointer, good! She is on fire! 18 to 7. Czech Republic trying to answer really over. They just can't stop Crozon. Look at this stroke. It's automatic. It's like she's on a shooting machine right now. Really over trying to get a free throw. Oh, back of the rim. Czech Republic is definitely going to miss hitting those three those free throws. And we're back. Sorry for those technical difficulties, but it looks like Canada took care of business in this one. It was all Crozon from beyond the arc and inside. Canada, first win 
of the Quebec stop. Up next, we have Lithuania and France. This Lithuania team is trying to continue their statement year. They have won at Prague. Three of the four players from that Prague win are returning, but it's going to be tough to go against France, especially that player right there, number 12, the superstar Guapo. France team is the 2022 World Cup champions. They have proved that they are beatable, though. They're humans. <laughs> but the number two overall, France, is definitely another favorite to win this Quebec stop. Monte won the toss there. But all eyes will be on Guapo for France. Their superstar returns. They are really good. <laughs> Just setting, setting those, uh, those expectations for you all. But we are here in Quebec City, Quebec. We are continuing the countdown to Constana, and we're off. Lithuania with a quick bucket to start this one. Pull-up jumper for Manet. That's good. Oh, crossover. Still their ball. Great defense by Bernie. First bucket for France, free throw line jumper, easy money for Manet. We're all tied up one to one. Zab Oltsake doesn't realize the shot clock was winding down. And that's gonna be a turnover. You can't turn the ball over too much on this France team because they will take advantage of every chance that they get. Blocked! Great block by Petra Naita. Said not in this house. She's fired up, especially to get that on Guapo. Little horns action, give and go. Shot clock violation. Petra Naita for two. She's hype after that block. It's France ball. Manet at the high post. Back out to Guapo. She drives, doesn't like what she sees. Back out to Manet. Two seconds, has to shoot it. Drills the two-pointer in your face. Guapo guarding the ball, Petra Naita. High 
High post, give and go. Tries to go, oh, puts it off the backboard and gets her own rebound. Lithuania coming out hot. Spin move, pass, missed the layup. Stervino. Oh, I know she wants that one back. That was a beauty of a. Second title, they won in Prague. Spain came up second for that. France made the semis in Bucharest. They came up short, so they are on a redemption tour. Two-pointer off the mark for Stervindu. Timeout on the floor. Six minutes and 50 seconds. Lithuania up top. Seven to five. Also the foul count. Four to one. Trying to regroup here. Like I mentioned, France made the semis in Bucharest. But they came up short. So they are definitely looking to get further at this Quebec stop. People in the crowd having a good time. You already know 3x3 is a party all day long. Come hang out with us. This is game three of a long slate. This is also the tough pool A that I mentioned. This is going to be a battle. Remember, you're trying to score... As many points as possible. 
Every point matters, win or loss. So we see Lithuania and France trying to run up this scoreboard. Petra Naita inbounding. Got a down screen action. Inside and we have a foul. That was clearly, that was a mismatch. Nothing you can do. Zaboltgate. Had the advantage there. Zabold Kate inbounding. Passing it out to Petra Naita and another foul. That is a height advantage that Lithuania is going to have. And it's just that, it's an advantage. Coming off the down screen, Nosekaita can't finish it, but gets the rebound, turn around, puts it in. Eight to five, Lithuania is on fire. Guapo makes her pay for falling down. Another foul, woo. The whistles are flying in this one. Great turnaround, way to use your body on that and very, very good footwork. Barni is back in for France. Zaboltgate with it up top and throws it away. Oh, you're gonna get a foul. Another foul and a technical foul on Barni. does not agree with the call and this foul count is already four to five with France. There's still six minutes left. 3x3 does not like fouls. There is a penalty if you get too many fouls as a team. And there's another one, offensive though. Illegal screen, Barney was at the brute of that one. Looking like she's rubbing out a dead leg. Guapo with it, off the screen, drives, doesn't like what she sees. But a nice pass to Barney. Miss Leia Mane with the rebound. Back out to Guapo. Spin move. Oh, rolls out. That would have tied it. And another push foul on Guapo. A little bit of a frustration missing that layup. Nasis Kaita inbounding it. Camille. High post to Griggs Lastica. Inside to Camille, turn around and fouled again. All right, we're going to the free throw line. This is an advantage for Lithuania. If they can make their free throws, you really got to make France pay for these fouls. She gets another free throw because now they are in the bonus. They're, that, they're just that, people. They are free throws. They've been having to work hard for all these other shots. Now they're going to get a parade to the free throw line. Manet for two off the mark. France just being a little too aggressive. Ball out of bounds. I thought that was going to be another foul. Lithuania checking it up. Zaboltgate to inbound.
coming off the green off the screen inside to Kriglasica ran out of time for the shot clock violation. Got to make your move back to the basket just a little bit quicker, but that was great defense by Manet. Hands straight up. Did not want to commit the foul. She has it. Guapa wide open for two. Misses it. France gets the rebound. Guapo again. Crossover. Blocked. Great block by Lithuania. Inside, but Grieg Lassica fumbles it. This Lithuania team is really, really good defenders. France usually runs up the score, but being able to hold them to seven points and Petra Naita capitalizes. Barni out to Manet, give and go. Barni misses the layup but gets the foul. Great strong take. Love a good give and go. Another look at the Petra Naita drive. Barney at the free throw line to try to get France some points. Misses it. But Guapo with the rebound. Hezzy. Fake. Oh, faked her out. Oh, couldn't finish. Beautiful move by Guapo. Gets it back and puts that one in. France, eight. Lithuania, 11. Four minutes to go. And Greg Lastica gets called for the travel. I know you traveled to Canada, but you can't travel on the basketball court. Stervenu passes it to Guapo, sees an opening, back out to Stervenu for two, in and out. Continues, the clock continues to click down. Good steal by Stervenu. Guapo for two, misses it. Really need a couple of those to fall. Off the knee, Mane. Great defensive play. Time out on the floor. Hopefully they France can continue that momentum to try to attack this Lithuania team. They are definitely attacking them. Especially on the defensive end. Griegs Lastica has a couple blocks already this game, and so does Nazi Kaita. Which they are already a deadly duo on the offensive end, and now we're seeing on the defensive end too. But this one is still close. Plenty, plenty enough time here. Three minutes and 45 seconds. France with the ball. Let's see if they can capitalize on getting that steal. Barani hits the top of the backboard on her fadeaway. We see someone in the front row who is a super fan. Now that was a shot for Nazi Kaita. Another block by Grieg Nalastika. They are guarding this basket. Nothing is coming easy for France inside. Lithuania is definitely making a statement. Airmail for France. Still only at the eight point mark. They can go on a run here. They got to get past Lithuania's last line of defense. And it doesn't look too good. Oh, nice. Oh, knocks it down. That's the Kaita for a step back. One pointer. Mane with it outside. Gets a screen from Guapo. Kicks it back out. Guapo shoots a deep two. Hits the backboard. But Barani there for the rebound and put back. France is fighting. Oof. Oof. 
Ooh, where you at, my Nate? Nice little drag step dribble by Natsukaita. High post action. Monica fade away a little short. And a shot clock violation because that hit nothing. I love the energy of Natsukaita. She is constantly clapping, getting her team energized. And that's why they have this lead right now for 14-9. Oh, they called a foul. As France is trying to make this run, that early foul trouble that they got themselves into early in the game is coming back to bite them. It's two shots here. Ah, Petronita can't make them pay, though. One more shot here. Drills it. Manet with it outside, loses the ball. Guapo recovers, step back, two-pointer. Good! Big shot to keep him in it. Two minutes, 25 seconds left. Nice crossover, turn around. Almost good for Netsukaitza. Step back, another look at the MVP, World Cup MVP, Guapo. Step back two again, shuffle pass inside, give and go, layup, Guapo. She's turning it up, 12 to 15, here comes France, two minutes left. Lithuania with the drive, Petra Knight. Uh, no good. Two-pointer on the way for Stervino. No. Not so, oh, all alone. Petronita, you can't leave her that open. 17-12, Lithuania. One minute, 30 seconds left. Turnover for France. Costly turnover. Natsukaita is there, driving, step back, two-pointer, back of the rim. Inside to Stervenu. Outside to Guapo. She picked up her dribble, less than a second left, had to throw it at the rim. Natsukaita wanting to dribble out this time. And Zabutkate gets the ball hit out of bounds. Nice give and go. Those back-to-back -back scores for Guapo. But Petra Naita can't be left alone. She is a shooter. Has a little bit of a hitch in her shot to bring it all the way over to that right side. But if it goes down, it goes down. Two points is two points. Let's see if France has one more run in them. Reminder, next up we have Spain and USA. Two-pointer, no good. I like that play by Petronita. Monet passes inside and a turnover. Petronita to Natsukaita and she gets called for walking. I didn't see how she shuffled her feet, but that's the call. Guapo had a quick breather. Now she is back in to try to finish this out. 42 seconds left. Let's see. France need a two-pointer here to make it a conversation. Manet holding it at the high post. Inside to Guapo. Quick layup inside. Natsukaita dribbling it out. 
Inverted screen trying to go inside to Greek Lostica. Reverse lay is good. 18 13. France is in trouble. Manet for two. No way. Layup reverse. Ooh, that was almost an and one. Natsukaita. 19 points, five seconds left. And no basket for France. And I think that's it. Lithuania comes up. Big win. Big win. 1913 over France from the jump. Lithuania really had control over this game. Specifically on the defensive end. Monica Griglastica with key blocks down the stretch. France loses. Lithuania on their way to getting their second title of the women's series. Oh, maybe, oh, they called a foul. So there's the last, last seconds here. And that'll do it. Now it's officially over. Lithuania gets the big win. 1913 over France. Again, defense and Petronaita <laughs> is the key words for this Lithuanian team. If I am any other team... I should be scared of Lithuania, especially in this really, really tough Pool A. Again, Pool A, Germany, Lithuania, France, Dusseldorf, Zeus. Lithuania is looking pretty good. So far, the winners in Pool A, Germany and Lithuania. Pool B, next game, Spain and USA. Now, I live in Los Angeles, so my home team is the USA, but USA got to bring it. They are looking for their first title of this series. And they're going to have to get past a tough Spanish team. Beautiful day for some 3x3 basketball. We're out here in Quebec City, Quebec. The home of uh, maple syrup. <laughs> Next up, España. Canea is the returner for this Spanish team. They were are without Sandra Yigaravide. But let's see if they can keep it going. Oma tried to come out a little... <laughs> A little too early. The Spain team is uh, their powerhouse, having history of excellence. USA, Sierra Verdict, my girl. She has been on the 3x3 circuit since 2014, and she's only 28. And Brianna Richardson. Oh, 
Going for the toss. USA. They lost in the quarterfinals in Bucharest. So they are ready and hungry to keep it going. How does Beyonce say? You won't break my soul. That's how USA is feeling. Their soul could be broken after not winning a title yet, but they're getting after it. And first up on the list is this very tough, very um, skilled and consistent Spanish team. Canea is guarding the ball as Burdict brings it in. And we're, and we're off. Pool B matchup. Richardson with the first shot of the game and the first make of the game. She drills it. Kanea taking on Lauren Cox. Great pass off the mark for Pena. Kanea is a shooter, so you definitely have to watch out. But this time, she's a driver. Left-handed layup. One-to-one. -one. Lauren Cox trying to do a handoff, and a foul is called. Great bucket by Kanea. Really attacking the post player. You don't see too many very conventionally post players in 3x3 because you got to be able to shoot it. Burdick driving with the left hand, tries to go up with the right, and it's off the mark. Kanea for two. This is her specialty. Short. Oma with the rebound. Nice turnaround by Armas. Our verdict up top, surveying. Pulls up from the free throw line, knows it's off, chases her own rebound, and puts in the layup. Oma driving left on Richardson. Fouled. All tied up, two to two. Can't make the free throw for Oma. CR Burdick with the rebound. Allen Taylor with the drive, stop, picks up her dribble, and turns it over. Gotta be a little more decisive. That is off the mark. CR Burdick shoots the two, chases our own rebound. She is so good at that. Another two pointer for Spain. No good. Back inside and a foul. A little bit of a mismatch. Alan Taylor for two. Short. Spain with it on the outside. Estebas Armas, Kanea, surveying, turn around, step through, left hand, rolls in. Beautiful footwork there. Richardson on the outside, passes it to Berta, give her some space, two-pointer, short. Pena, inside to Kanea, tie up, good foul by Alan Taylor. Will be Spain USA seven minutes and 30 we're just getting started on this one Kanea at the free throw line can't make him pay Richardson back inside to Lauren Cox back to the basket and the turnaround jumper is good oh my two-pointer is good back at you Alan Taylor driving, gets fouled, going towards her right hand. Nice footwork by Lauren Cox, former Los Angeles Sparks.
player in the WNBA. Kanea driving on the post player, cradles it, clanks it off the rim. Entry pass stolen by Kanea. Now she's attacking back out to Estebas. Driving on the left hand, stops, turn around, rolls out, rebound by Oma, back out. Two pointer on the way, no good. Rebound by Kanea. Spain controls possession. Oma driving left, fouled. Timeout on the floor. Little bit of an offensive push off, but I won't tell nobody if you don't. This Spanish team won in Bordeaux. Second in Prague to Lithuania. That Lithuanian team that we just saw a moment ago, I am impressed. Both of these teams might have to see that Lithuanian team potentially in the finals. It would be nice if Spain could get a, a chance to redeem themselves as Oma is at the free throw line. So far, I'm really impressed with Oma's energy and... Uh, tenacity on both ends of the floor. Sierra Burdick gets fouled. Hard drive. Good D there by Estebas Armas. Richardson has it up top. Burdick at the high post. Surveying. Trying to pass to Lauren Cox, but Lauren Cox was coming to set the screen. Pass out to Kanea. This is a match that she wants. Can't finish that two-pointer. Verdict with the rebound. Richardson has it up top. Surveying, thinking of crossing. Lauren Cox passing inside to Burdick. Driving inside. Tough drive. Right hand layup just rolls out. USA still stuck at four points. Six minutes left to go. Kanea driving left-handed. Bounce pass to Pena. Off the rim for the layup. Beautiful dime. Lauren Cox driving stops on a dime. No good and bats it out of bounds. Oma outside, out to Kanea. Pena, foul there, ah, a little ticky-tack call, I would say. Six to four, 540 on the clock. Oma again to Kanea, spins, left hand, stops again. Shuffle the feet a little bit, but again, won't tell anybody if you don't. Another point for Kanea Richardson off the mark has been a little cold since she hit that first bucket. A collision on the floor between Pena and Richardson. Oof. It was a football tackle. <laughs> My goodness. Alan Taylor up top takes the dribble pull up and airmails it. Lauren Cox had her hand up. Looking for the roll. That was a missed opportunity. Lauren Cox is working double time here, having to guard a guard. Oma on the court. Nice cut, but she blocks it. Lauren Cox, we are all cordially invited to your block party. Thank you for the invite. Oma on the outside. Armas loses her dribble. Richardson picks it up. Surveying, surveying. Six seconds on the shot clock. Richardson has to put it up. Dribbles to her left for a pull-up jumper and drills it at the buzzer. 7-5 Spain. Oma driving baseline. 
puts it in. C.R. Burdick dribbling it out. Richardson behind the back. Poked away by Oma. Burdicked meeting with the wall. Richardson for two at the buzzer again. No good. Burdick tries to fight for the rebound, and it looks like it's going to be Spain basketball. Jab step to the left. One dribble pull up. Richardson definitely has a high advantage for the guards, and that shot is a beaut. Lauren Cox into Sierra Burdick. A little back screen action. Lauren Cox blew the layup. Oh, that was a great play. Oma crosses over. No good, but the rebound by Pena. And she gets the steal. She's on a roll. Armas driving baseline behind the back and fouled. Alan Taylor doesn't know what to do with her. Estebas Armas has a little bit of a height and size advantage. It was a lot of ball there. I'll, I'll give Alan Taylor that, but get called for the body. 10-5. Spain just about to cross the four minute mark. Also, keep an eye on those foul calls as well. Get too many, you will be penalized. Alan Taylor, Lauren Cox at the high post, looking for something to happen, and a foul is called. No hugging, the ref says. Got a foul on the play. Sierra Burdick looked like she's telling that USA team, we got to keep going. We got to run up the score. We only got five points. And I would agree. Ten to five. Almost four minutes to go. Match number two for Pool B. Spain is looking good here. Sierra Burdick, let's see if they can get to a quick hitter. And they're going to need it. Richardson drives to the layup, doing exactly that. Needed a quick score. Oma driving baseline behind the back. Doesn't like what she sees. Three seconds on the shot clock. Kanea got to put it up. One-handed. Hits nothing. Richardson almost traveled there. But she turns it over instead. Kanea with the crossover. Burdick just right there with her. Pena, jumper, good. She's only 25, ladies and gentlemen. She is the future of this Spanish team. But Richardson scores it quick. They didn't think about it too long. 11. Ah, Pena with the travel. 11 to 7. Spain still up top. It's been all Richardson in this one. Pena, great jump shot. Sierra Burdick, back door. Sierra, you dropped this. It's a dime. Here comes USA. Spain got to make sure to hold them off. Kanea getting it inside. And shot clock violation. Burdick is fired up. Just needed a couple of those stops and a couple of those layups to drop. And here comes USA. Alan Taylor to Lauren Cox. Dribbling left-handed and gets the left-handed layup to go. USA knocking at the door. 9-11. to Spain still with the lead. Kanea on Cox. Two-pointer no good. Lauren Cox with the rebound. Richardson behind the back, driving left-handed, stops, drag steps, no good. Good box out there from Spain. Estebas out to Kanea for two. She can do that. Not this time. Lauren Cox out to Alan Taylor, back inside, repost. There's a mismatch. That's got to be you. Left-handed layup. Count it. She wanted the and one. One-point game. Oma hits nothing. Not a smart. Yeah, Kanea is telling her, we got to move the ball around a little bit. 
We need to score. We haven't scored in a minute. I don't know if it's literally a minute, but minute meaning a really long time. Sierra Burdick have it dribbling. Allen Taylor going to her left. Shoots it with her right and one. We're tied at 11. USA roaring back from being down by six points. Spain has not had an answer after that timeout. And USA has a chance to take the lead here and does. Rebound by Pena and throws it out of bounds. The Spain team is unraveling before our eyes. Little frustrations brewing, but USA has really turned it around. Verdict on the outside, getting the screen from Lauren Cox. Richardson pull up from the free throw line. That's money. Pena looking for something. Armas gets it off the backboard, rams out too strong. Richardson, a minute 30, inside to Cox. Turnaround jumper and one. USA is now up 14 to 11. They are in complete control over this game, especially after being down and having a very slow start. One minute and 26 seconds left. Now that Spain is in the bonus, this is two shots for Lauren Cox. They can go up by five. Oh, she leaves it short, but Sierra Burdick with the rebound. Clears it back to Lauren Cox, back to Sierra Burdick. The little two-man game. Spin move. Oh, in and out, but she gets it back and puts in the easy lay. Oh, I wanted that spin move to drop so bad. Oma with the cross going to her left hand. Nice. Richardson gets it 12 to 16. A minute left. Sierra Burdick having it on the left side. Lauren Cox for two. No good. Oma with the rebound. Out to Pena up top. Overload on one side. Kanea, one legged three pointer. Hits the other side of the backboard. Pena with the rebound, but a foul on Sierra Burdick. I didn't see it. Spain with 12, USA with 16. Timeout on the floor. Woo! That was a quick turnaround. USA, they are winded, bubbled over, but they have a comeback win potential. Spain would have to change a lot in this game to be able to regain the control and the lead. Kenya at the free throw line. Again, only 25 years old. Looking to be one of the new faces for this Spanish 3x3 team. Burdick with it up top, trying to find the rim. That one didn't find it. Alan Taylor out to Burdick again. Hard drive, no foul. Wow, that was a lot of contact. Inside to Pena, and one, and that gets the foul call. Sierra Burdick is livid. How is that not the same thing, she says. Pena is helping Spanish team stay in it. 13 to 6, 25 seconds left. This one might go down to the wire. Big free throw here. Makes it count. Again, all those fouls, this is when it matters. She can get it within one here. And does. One point game, 25 seconds left. Not sure what the call was. Okay, USA with it. Lauren Cox at the high post. We got to overload. Back door. 
loses it. But it gets poked out of bounds. Kanea thought she was running away with it. Nice screen by Lauren Cox. Alan Taylor really forces it up. Gets her own rebound. Shot clock violation. Spain, 10 seconds. We're all tied at 16. 8, 7. Oma driving with the lay but misses it. And we're going into overtime. Almost had the layup against Lauren Cox, but that is a long wingspan to try to get a layup over for a guard on Oma. But this has been a great game, all tied up at 16. If you remember, USA was down. 11 to 5 and they came roaring back but they couldn't hold off Spain who with some late free throws and some great and ones put themselves right back in the game now we have overtime more basketball who doesn't want that everybody wants that Here we go. Who is going to pull this one out? Let's see if USA can continue their momentum. Hopefully they didn't burn out by making that comeback. Estebas to inbound, getting it to Kanea, driving on verdict. Estebas back out to Pena for a jumper. No good. Verdict open for two. No. I will double check this, but from memory, it's the first team to score two points in overtime. That one is no good. Lauren Cox for two, in and out, gets her own rebound, gets the layup. Oh, step back for Estebas. Short, Richardson with the rebound. By herself, getting the screen from Lauren Cox. Has her on the roll, misses the layup, Lauren Cox again, and that's game. Both points in overtime scored by Lauren Cox. USA wins it, 18 to 16. What a comeback win for USA. They really had a slow start there, but coming out with the W. That is huge. All right. That was the first matchups for all these teams in Pool A and Pool B. And we finish it out with an overtime game against Spain and USA. Wow. What a game. What a game. Next up, Dusseldorf, Zeus against France. After that, Czech Republic, USA, then Germany, Lithuania, Canada, España. Spain and Canada have a, have a long rest. So we will see them at the second, the end of the second set of games. We'll take a quick break and we'll be back with Dusseldorf Zeus and France. Le second tableau, les jeux protégés et passe 
All right, we are back to it. Second time we see these teams, France versus Dusseldorf Zeus. France dropped their first game against Lithuania, and Dusseldorf dropped their first game against Germany. So both of these teams are looking for their first win of the Quebec stop with this matchup. Tough loss for, for France there. Again, Dusseldorf Zeus is the German commercial team. And as you may remember, this is the first time commercial teams are on the Women's Series Tour. So they are um, essentially like a club team. And they've been getting their bearings so far. But a quick bucket there by Barony for France to, to get this one going. This is the matchup I am excited to see, and Degbon wins it this time. Oh, foul. I thought that one was just going to roll out of bounds. Degbon against Manet is going to be a great matchup to watch for this game. One to one. Early on, both of these teams trying to see trying to get their first win of the women's series. Barney driving. Oh, nice finish with the left hand. Yuka outside, inside to Degbon. Great catch. First game, she was missing a couple of those bunnies, but now she's getting it back as Yuka gets the steal. Back to Degbon inside, left hand hook. That one's off the mark. Manet with the rebound. Stervenu out to Manet. Back to Stervenu, gets trapped underneath. This is real back and forth. I love it. Stervenu out to Barney. Screen by Manet. She pops. Shoots the two. Off the mark. Barney got in a little bit of foul trouble in the, in the last matchup with France and Lithuania. And she commits an early foul there. Degbon to pass it out. Katsuda. Inside, they switch on her. She gets met with the wall of Manet. <laughs> Guapo with the crossover, no look pass to the corner to Manet. She drills that two pointer for France. Katsuda turns it over. Fast break. Guapo, left hand layup on the right side, makes it count. France is running up the score, five to two. Yuka on the drive gets fouled by Stervenu. Yeah. 
Two pointer. That's good for Stermanu. France has a hot, hot start. But nice give and go there. Sta with the layup. Stermanu with the drive out to Guapo. Shoots the two short. Yuka with the rebound. Katsuda, number 25, deep to back of the rim. Tries to get their own rebound and goes out of bounds. Stermanu takes a seat. Sta out to Yuka. And an offensive foul, legal screen. Degbon, you can't do that. That was a football block. <laughs> Guapo off the curl screen, dribbles it around. Guapo open for two, crosses over, drives to the rim, clanks it. Degbon with the rebound. This France defense is smothering. But sometimes it gets them in trouble like that. They get the foul call. Seemed like Guapo had some position, but she hit the ball after she hit the body. Sta misses the free throw. Guapo surveying, gets the screen by Manet and gets held up by Sta. Didn't have an answer. Did not want her to roll, so she held on to her. Manet, high post. Nice play. Bounce pass to Stervenu. Great play by Franz. Katsura with the spin. Kicks it out to Sta for two. And count it. Here comes Zeus. Spin move by Guapo off the mark. Six to eight, France winning. Degbon almost had a wide open layup, but France knocks it out of bounds. Timeout on the floor. Another look at this two pointer. Great timing by Sta.
inside to Degbon. Fakes. Makes it count. MVP of the game so far is Ama Degbon. Stervenu gets fouled on the shot. No and one, but she's going to the free throw line. There's the other look at the reverse layup and the great footwork there by Degmon for Dusseldorf Zeus. Stervendu misses another free throw. Degbon clears it, drives it out to Sta. Two-pointer, no good. Guapo with the rebound. Mane up top. Screen by Guapo. Step back, tries to do a give and go. Guapo takes the two for herself. Back of the rim, gets her own rebound. Shuffle pass out to Stervenu. Free throw line jumper, good for Stervenu. France back up top, 10 to 9. Sta with the drive, scoops up, no good. Degmon soars in for the rebound. Goes with the left hand and good. Degbon is having herself a game. Stop wanted the push out of bounds but didn't get it. What a sequence there for both teams. Stervenu with a nice touch at the free throw line. All tied up here. Four minutes and 39 seconds left. Keep an eye on that foul count. Beautiful play. Sta is blocked by the rim. Guapo out to Mane. Step back. Two-pointer. No good. But the rebound by Berni. Mane up top. Dribbling inside to Guapo. A little bit of confusion. Yuka comes out with the with the ball. And a foul on Manet. Little bit of a fumble there for France. Four oh nine, Katsuya gets it at the high post left side. Back screen, flare screen, Degbon. I love the idea of the play. The the pass had a little too much heat on it. Little too much heat. Barani looking to go back door. Katsuda read it perfectly. Katsuda outside. Flare screen looking for something. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Degbon flips it up. No good. Guapo with the rebound. That was great defense there by France. Barani with it up top. Stervenu inside to Guapo. No look pass and Stervenu doesn't finish. Degbon gets it inside back to the basket, but they're going to call her for the three seconds. She, was, she, she pitched a tent. She was camping in there. It's all right, though. We got a timeout on the floor. Three minutes and 29 seconds left in this one. Ten to 10 we're all tied up zeros who is gonna pull this one out both teams are looking for their first win of the weekend France has had some really great plays but they haven't been able to stop Degbon she has been a force inside Degbon has played with the German national team now she's played about coming into this tournament she played six games total went two and four in those games but Zeus they got a good one let's see if France has an an answer specifically Manet who was all alone there and did not shoot the free throw line jumper passed it out instead Sta with the rebound tries to get it out to Katsuya Manet with the steal Barani cross court pass to Stervenu gets broken up by Katsuda. Again, these are two teams in Pool A, a very tough pool to try to get out of, so every win counts. Guapo comes up short on the layup. Stop blocked 
The pass is blocked by Monet. She seems so determined to try to get some more points on the board for her team. About the three minute mark. This is really the prime time. If you're gonna make a push, now's the time to do it. 10 to 10, Katsuda lob pass inside to Degbon. Didn't have enough time on the shot clock. Katsuda apologizes and said, yeah, I should have shot that. Inside to Manet, outside to Stervenu, drills the two-pointer. Big shot there to end the drought. Stolen. And a give and go shuffle pass to Guapo, who is fouled. Another look at that Stervin and two pointer. She was all alone. Nobody was even close. Guapo misses that free throw. Degman with the rebound. Sta dribbling. Five seconds left on the shot clock. And Dusseldorf, costly possession. Don't even get a shot at the basket there. Manet, high post action. I really want her to be more aggressive on that high post by turning and facing. Barney tries to whip it inside to Guapo, who says, I was not ready for that. France still holding on to the lead, 12 to 10. That two points by Stervenu, still holding strong. Katsuya, <coughs> nice pass into Sta, who threw it off the backboard. Guapo having it up top all alone. Nice steal by Yuka. Pass it inside to Katsuda. Guapo with the rebound. Another steal by Yuka. Oh my goodness, that time Katsuya could not finish it. All of Guapo's passes are just getting picked off. It was the last point scored by France, but some easy buckets there by Dusseldorf. High post action off of Manet. Back out to Stervenu. She hits another one. She is on fire right now for France. Katsuda back to Yuka. Shoots a two. No good. And we have a foul underneath on Manet. Her arms out open wide saying, what did I do? France still holding on to the lead, 14-2, thanks to two big buckets by Stervenu. Big free throws there by Degbon. Manet up top, can't handle the pass by Stervenu, and that is a costly turnover for France. Timeout on the floor. One point game here, one minute and 28 seconds left. If we're lucky, we might get another overtime game. Fingers crossed. 2022 World Cup champions, France.
We won't. Uh, doesn't matter how it goes in. It just shows up as two points on the score. So it counts. 25 seconds left in this one. France 17, Zeus 14. Zeus can hit a two-pointer. That would make it interesting. I would go with Emma Sta. This one's not over. Katsuda, spin move. Off the mark, gets her own rebound. You need a two, 17 seconds. Interesting choice to have Dagmon on the bench here. Katsuda shoots it from Toronto. No good. And that might be the end of it. Put just for some extra sprinkles on top. Stervinu drills it from two to get France into 19 points. Dusseldorf Zeus going to clap it up. They really went down fighting. But this time they come up short. Very, very impressed with Ama Degbon, who won that battle between her and Manet. But Manet has the last word because they come out the winner. Next up, we have Czech Republic and USA. So far, look at the standings. France is up top with the most points. Germany also has a win, but win all the way to 21 points. Lithuania also has that win. Dusseldorf Zeus has taken two L's so far, but they are still new to this. I'm very impressed. Our next game. Game three of Pool B, we have the USA against Czech Republic. Karagina Gelishkova, Anna Rozeska, who has had a silver medal in 2017 in the U18 World Cup. But I was really impressed with Riley Shova. Sotolova is, is a slippery guard. She can steal it, sliver inside for a layup, and you never see it coming. USA had a very, very impressive game the last time against Spain. They just played that overtime game, though. <laughs> so this is a very short rest for this USA team. Yeah. 
I'm excited for this this matchup. I think this is going to be a tale of two guards for Czech Republic. So Sotolova, number nine, um, in white, versus Richardson or Alan Taylor for USA. It's going to be uh, who can can get the most buckets and, and find their bigs the best in this in this matchup. But again, USA just won an overtime win against Spain about half hour ago. Let's see if that uh, if there's any fatigue there after some extra extra time. But this one, we are off. Lauren Cox gets it inside. Surveying for Richardson, who started the last game the same way. This one came up a tad short. Can uh, blame the breeze on that air ball. Two-pointer on the way for Riliova. Lauren Cox definitely has the, the mismatch there. I want her to look for her shot. Riliova decided against driving inside against Lauren Cox, the much taller center. Rosesca already looking to take a breather. Sotolava. Gets her own rebound, misses both close range floaters. I know she wants to have one of those back. She's benching herself after that. <laughs> Once again, um, This Czech Republic team is, is looking for their first win of the day. Sierra Burdick driving, reverse pivots, looking for the foul, doesn't get it. Fade away for Riliova, off the mark. Sierra Burdick with the rebound, Richardson surveying. Looking for verdict at the top of the key. One second left on the shot clock. Really getting, it's a lot of contact there. And she is letting the refs hear it. Czech Republic is a tough, gritty team that will definitely body you up. Sierra Burdick still talking to the referees. Feeling like she got the short end of the stick on that possession. Lauren Cox blocks the two-pointer. But gets called for the foul on the on the follow-up. Katarzyna has it up top. Pump fake against Lauren Cox, drives it, no good. Shot clock violation, Alan Taylor dribbling it out. We are still with two goose eggs here, 0-0. Zero, zero. Alan Tabor gets hammered, and she'll be able to put USA's first points on the board at the free throw line. Man mechanical engineering major from Texas, Alan Taylor. 
Two-pointer good for Riliova. First points on the board for Czech, and they already have the lead. Richardson dribbling, running out of time, gets close enough to the basket, gets her own rebound, tries to go up with the right hand on the left side, rims out. She is frustrated. Both of those were very close. Nice crossover up and under. Can't finish for Riliova. Sierra Burdick has it out in the block. Decides to shoot the jumper and airmails it. Richardson with the steal back inside but does not clear it. Does not clear it. They're arguing that it was an air ball. So they shouldn't, or it was a steal. Oh, she had one foot outside the line. The ref says not good enough. Alan Taylor takes a breather. Sierra Burdick still arguing with the ref. <laughs> Really, Hova tried to fall down and get the call behind the arc. No good. Sierra Burdick gets it. Lauren Cox gets fouled. Lauren Cox, another foul. I really hope uh, don't want to add on too many fouls. That will come back and bite you later in the game. And we've seen it time and time again. Sierra Burdick on the outside. Brush screen for Lauren Cox. Turnaround jumper hits the side of the backboard. Czech Republic with the rebound. Nice up and under move by Sotolova. Sierra Burdick loses it, gives it to Richardson, dribbling with her left hand, shoots the jumper, no good. Sierra Burdick gets called for over the back. Nice up and under move by Sotolova. She's so smooth with it. About to start calling her the smooth criminal. Really, Tova, the two-pointer is looking good. It's straight on, but that one was off. The mark, Alan Taylor for two. Thought she got hit on the hand, but she ends up with the ball back, driving to her right side, ran out of time, but she's getting the foul call, the bailout on the buzzer. USA still only with that one point, which came off of an Alan Taylor free throw. So, so far, Alan Taylor only person to score zero field goals for USA so far two points for USA both on free throws Rosica off the mark on that one but Lauren Cox able to save it dribbling out this is a very physical game. Czech Republic already with four, five fouls, excuse me. We have so much time left. And if USA is only scoring on free throws, this might really work out in their benefit. TV timeout on the floor. Czech Republic holding on to a very, very small lead. Low scoring game here, three to two. As a reminder, the Czech Republic finished 10th in the Bucharest stop. And USA made it to the quarters in Bucharest, but they've yet to win a title. So far, they have one win today, trying to be on top of that pool B. And they get the ball here. Sierra Verdict driving right, runs into a wall, still holds on to the ball, gets the rebound. Oof. Katrajina Galishkova thought it was a jump ball, a tie-up, but 
they call the foul. And now USA is shooting free throws for the rest of the way. Made a rhyme and I didn't even mean to. Verdict capitalizing on the charity stripe. And we're going to check it up top. Really, Ova is not shy. She is letting it rain from two. Richardson cashes that one in. A mismatch there. Bounce pass inside. Katarzyna can't finish. Great bounce by Sartolova. Lauren Cox out to Richardson. Pull up jumper. Back of the rim. Berta gets the rebound. Easy lay. Five to three. USA winning. Sotolova outside off the screen. Pull up free throw line jumper. Back of the rim. Sierra Burdick gets it. Dribbles baseline. Goes for the layup on the right side. Cashes that one in. USA up six to three. Pump fake, driving, easy layup for Katrina. Richardson driving left, crossover right, inside to Lauren Cox. Can't finish the layup, but gets the rebound. Sierra Burdick wide open from the free throw line. Makes him pay for leaving it that wide open. Sotolova having a post. Step back, two-pointer, just short. Sierra Burdick with the rebound. Richardson gets it back inside to Burdick. Tries to spin. Knocks down Katrajina. Maybe gets hit in the face. She's like, where's the call? Oof. I think she just bumped heads. Sierra Burdick had her back to the basket trying to do a spin move. Czech Republic might be down. Beautiful block by Richardson. Duff Sotolova at the rim. Really Ova got that one to drop. Six to eight. Here comes Czech Republic. They're not away just yet. Push on Really Hova trying uh, Lauren Cox trying to get post position. Really Hova knocks that two down. She's been shooting them. One had to fall eventually. Shoot or shoot. Lauren Cox at the free throw line. If you see that armband around her right arm, she is actually a type 1 diabetic. So that is where her CGM to be able to monitor her blood sugars are. I am also a type 1 diabetic. So we both have the same superpower. Rebound, long rebound to Sierra Burdick. She's calling for the screen of Lauren Cox. Give and go. Lauren Cox turn around over her left shoulder and puts it in. Czech Republic down 6-10. to ten. Really Hova dribbling on the right side by herself. She's using a lot of energy there. They're down a sub for Czech Republic. Sierra Burdick, there's a scrum on the floor. No good. Lauren Cox comes up with the rebound, looking for Allen Taylor. She also has a mismatch, decides to take it herself, and one. Great, strong drive by Lauren Cox. She has been doing work inside that paint all day long time out they are breathing heavy again usa went to a overtime game before this one so they're feeling it just right about now Really, Hova on the Czech Republic is, is doing a lot, trying to get some points on the board for her team. She's been shooting a lot of twos. One did fall, but 
She has constantly been in the mix and in the scrums on the floor. Lauren Cox at the free throw line. Can't make that one count. Again, she played for the LA Sparks in the WNBA. Now she is a star, becoming a star in this 3x3 system. Great block. There she is. Clears it out, gives it to Richardson, looking for a screen and roll, but Richardson finds herself all alone. Easiest shot she'll have in the night. A long one, and they take the foul. USA is up 16 or 13 to 6, excuse me, 2 minutes and 47 seconds left. Czech Republic has not had an answer. Driving inside, nice drop step by Riliova. Seven points for Czech Republic. Sierra Burdick almost loses it on the way up, but still manages to finish the right-handed layup. It was so nice, it was, almost looked like it was on purpose. Oh, we almost got another look at that, but that was beautiful by Sierra Burdick. So Talova out to really Hova, no good. Inside to Lauren Cox, that's all day. That's barbecue chicken, that's easy money. Really Hova driving left, tries to step back on Lauren Cox, almost traveled. Katz Regina misses the layup. They just look defeated. Sierra Burdick has it inside by herself. Six seconds left on the shot clock. Drives left, fakes right. Oh, she couldn't finish it. What a move. Man, I wish she could have put a little more English on that. But she had the defender on skates. But couldn't finish. Mm -mm -mm. USA up. 15 to 7, they have a minute and 45 to try to get to 21. Lauren Cox back to her basket. It has been the Lauren Cox show. They do not have an answer for her. As Czech Republic tries to get on the board again, they're fighting. Roseska. Passes it out to Katz Regina and Lauren Cox just tried to hold her hand. Will you hold my hand? It was, uh, I don't think out of love. It was, please stop running towards the basket. I'm going to hold your hand. And they call her with the intentional foul. Uh, it was... Not so much a basketball play. Lauren Cox really needed the breather. The refs huddled up and said, "Yeah, that's not gonna, it's not gonna roll with us." Next game on the schedule: Germany versus Lithuania. That's gonna be a good one. Both of those teams have both won already today. I am looking forward to that. But we got this one to finish. And Czech Republic can't make the technical free throw. You gotta make your free throws. It's free money. No one's guarding you. Gotta be able to make USA pay, and they have not done that. Richardson decides to dribble it out to clear it, out to Allen Taylor, screened by Lauren Cox, looking for her inside. She turns around, floats it in. She can't be stopped. 
She's on a tear. 17 to 8. USA has been dominant. And the shot clock violation. Really Ova did not notice it. Lauren Cox has been unstoppable. Czech Republic has no idea what hit them. Sierra Burdick passes it inside. Free throw line extended to Richardson. Allen Taylor dribbling off the screen, driving, popping off the other side of the backboard. Solitova, you're running out of time. Can't hold it too much. Tries to get it inside to Katrozina. Misses it and shot clock violation. The, the body language from Czech Republic is like, please, time, please run out. We are so tired. Richardson gets fouled on the turnaround jumper by Sotolova. Foul count run up to nine. For Czech Republic. 20 seconds left in this one. See if uh, USA can get to 21 or the clock will run out. USA getting a... I don't want to say easy. Because Czech Republic has been very, very physical. But they definitely took care of business when they needed to. USA seems very focused on winning their first title of the women's series here in Quebec. And Lauren Cox with another layup, taking their points to 20. USA wins this one, match three of Pool B in their second win of the day. Czech Republic, their second loss of the day. But USA, looking good. 20 to 8. Next up, we have Germany and Lithuania. USA sitting atop of that Pool B with two wins and zero losses. Czech Republic on the opposite end. But Canada and Spain in the hunt. Oh, well, I should say Canada. Look at that. That hotel right there that you see is the world record holder for most photographed hotel. Little fun fact there for you. We are here in Quebec City, Quebec, for the three x three women's series. Next game, Germany. No, wait, sorry. Germany and Lithuania. Yes, that is correct. Germany was the first game of the day, so they have had a pretty long rest. And Lithuania, I was very, <laughs> very impressed with in their win earlier against France. Um, this is a team that you're not going to get any easy shots. They have some very big players inside, specifically Gris 
Grieg Laskita for Lithuania. Grineher, I'm very interested in their matchup because Grineher was unstoppable in the first game of today. Um, so, so good for Germany. But it's, I think this is going to be a good one. I'm excited. We know that we have the incredible play by Wilka for Germany as well. But here she is, the shot blocker, Monica Griglaskita. And then the sharp shooter for Lithuania, Petra Naita, was lights out in that first matchup today. Egla Zavodkait is also a very dominant force inside, but it's also, yes, I, I can tell that number six in green is the captain of this team. She is constantly the energizer of uh, everybody during the game and really kept them in it and their energy afloat in that last match earlier today. Um, I'm talking about Camille Natsukaita. She's also a good scorer, better passer, even better hype woman. That is a role, you guys. That is a very important role on a team. And Natsukaita really takes that to heart. Get ready for a good one here. I'm excited. Again, pool A is so tough. So tough. And Lithuania is trying to get their second title. Their first one was at Prague. But let's see how this one gets started. We're underway. A two in the air by Greg Laskita. Grinding her too easy, too easy. Cannot leave her that wide open. Grinding her had a practice shot for the first points on the board for Germany. Camille has it up top. Inverted screen, shoots the two. No good. Outside to Edla. And they ran out of time. Not good communication there for Lithuania. Costly turnover. You cannot turn the ball over on this Germany team. They will make you pay. They're so good, so smart, so um, together that uh, they will capitalize on the other team's mistakes as Wilka drains that pull-up jumper. Petra Nitra. Left-handed layup over Greinaher, no good. Simon Greinaher driving, fake spin, puts it in. Renaida gets the handoff. She's a lethal shooter. She'll shoot that. Had to rush it a little bit because of the shot clock, but that is off the mark. Greiner looking for the give and go. Out to Wilka. Down to four seconds. Lobs it to Greiner. Having a little trouble down there against Monica. Says shot clock violation, but they're saying it hit the rim and we got the rebound. Grinehart doing work if it's anybody but number 10 guarding her in green. Wilka, nice backdoor to Rodefeld. Kind of gets breaking up. Oh, travel on Lou. Little indecisive on what she wanted to do with that possession and... She thought she got rid of it before she fell, but I guess not. 
Nasakaita getting a back screen. Monica open for two, hits nothing. Griner looking to screen. Wilka, nice in and out move to get to the rim, but can't finish. Rodefeld breaks up that pass and it goes out of bound. Lithuania ball. Germany with the 3 0 start. I believe Greiner <laughs> against Lithuania, 3 0. <laughs> nice play there. Beautiful. Camille Natsukaita with the one. Greiner, Rodefeld had the two pointer. She passes it up to take a further one and drills it. Lou for two. Camille with the floater inside the paint, no good. Five to one, Germany lead. This is, this is a good start. Germany ball, Greiner, have it up top. They're in a high post horn set, back screen. Beautiful play. Oh my goodness. Great screen by Wilka. Pull up jumper, good for Zabotkate. Grind her high post, you just gotta foul her. You just gotta foul her, that's the only way you're gonna stop her. Six to two, Germany up top. They are showing why they are the number one team. Wilka set to check it in. She's so smooth with it. Has a swagger to her game. And nice handoff to Rodefeld. Had the defense looking for their navigation on their phone. They were lost. Great play there. Little misdirection, miscommunication on Lithuania. They didn't know whether to switch or to stay with the player. I would say stay with the player with the basketball driving to the basket. That is my uh, coaching two cents to Lithuania. This Germany team did win back-to-back -back titles at the top of the women's series, Pointers and Tel Aviv, but they have not won a title since. And it's, it's interesting for any other team, that would be a marvel, you know? But for Germany, the stakes are so high. Fans... Um, Onlookers just expect greatness from Germany. Lithuania, but Camille says, uh, hello, we still here, and drains the two. Wilka trying to post up on the block extended, and they knock it out of bounds. Greiner. Anytime Grineher is passing the ball and she just throws down Zabotgate to finish the bucket. Grieg Laskita. Grineher says, give me that. Nice drive by Simon. Comes up empty. And a foul there. Foul count has been low. Scoring has been high. Germany eight, Lithuania four. It's gonna be Lithuanian ball. Natsukaita. Inbounding. Handoff to Zabote, who shoots the two and makes it. Okay, here comes Lithuania. They're only down by two. 
plenty of time left. Six minutes in this game. Rodefeld driving baseline. Gets blocked, but gets it back and puts it in. Way to stay with it for Rodefeld. Another steal by Greinerher. Finds Wilka inside, and it rolls in. 10-6, to six, Germany is rolling. Nice step back, too, but off the backboard... Rodefeld gets called for the foul, or does Grieglas Kita get called for the foul? It could be either way. Nice patience inside by Wilka. Really becoming one of my favorite players to watch. Some movement. Germany is getting a hand on almost every pass that Lithuania is trying to make, high or low. Grind her, taking her time. Knows she can get whatever she wants. That one hits the back of the rim. Lithuania out. Natsukaita thinking about it. Getting the screen from Greg Laska. Skip pass. And the time runs out. They come up on an empty possession. And you can't stay with Grind her. She is putting on a clinic. Oh, down and out for Petra Naita. You can only foul her. <laughs> Lithuania is realizing if we don't foul her, she's going to score every time. She's making it look so easy. There is no way, or there is a way, that she has been a two-time MVP so far just this season. Rebound by Petronita. Out to Zabotkate. Inside to Natsukaita. Back to Zabotkate and one! Hopefully that can brew some momentum for this Lithuania team whose grind of her is just really putting it to them. But Zabotkate said, I can score two. Now let me complete this two-point play. And she does not. Chases the rebound. Great hustle there by Wilka. Grinerher gets it out to Rodefeld. Back screen, Grinerher. Pretty far away from the basket. Rodefeld. Step back, two-pointer, back of the rim. Great defense. Looking inside, Rodefeld tried to read the pass, but she kind of swiped down. She knew that uh, Griglaskika was going to feast in there, so she took the foul instead. Smart. 11-7. Just about to hit the four-minute mark. And a foul on the two-point line. Natsukaita going to the free throw line for two, I believe. Makes a count. Again, I believe this is Lithuania's statement year. They are really trying to cement themselves as a, a winner in the 3x3 Women's Series. If there's anything to cement it, it would be a win over Germany. Let's see. There's still plenty of time left to see if Lithuania can make a roaring comeback. We've already seen it once today. We can see it again. Time out on the floor. Everybody catch their breath. This is a good one. Thank you. 
Just a reminder that this pool A is really tough. <laughs> really, really tough. There's Germany and Lithuania, but there's also France and Dusseldorf. Zeus, I mean, I think they're going to catch one. They're going to catch somebody slipping because Zeus will come to play. But this pool A ain't nothing to play with, okay? Germany is, is taking care of business so far, but yeah, that's that's hard to beat. Greiner, another bucket. Petronita tries to end the spell, but doesn't. Going back inside. Oh, she gets the steal on that one, though. Tries to get it inside. Number 10 in green finishes it. Back out to Greiner. Roldefeld reset. Drives, picks up her dribble. Off the buzzer, Wilka for two. Just as Lithuania was inching closer, that was such a dagger. And then a block by Greiner at behind the arc. Lou Rodefeld all by herself. Ah, doesn't make him pay, but she gets a rebound. Way to follow your shot. Greiner coming to set the on ball screen. Drives to the middle, floats it inside. Greiner, two e. Z. Who is going to stop her? Anybody. Anyone. Please, someone step up. Five-point game here for Germany. Lithuania can reach out and touch them, but they can't stop Griner. They can't stop her. Nice move by Monica. Rims out. Rodefeld waiting for the on-ball screen. This pick-and-roll action has been money all game. Natsukaitsa is upset. She feels like Griner has been holding her. But it's just a clinic, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ain't nothing you can do. Griner is that girl. At almost 30 years old, she has been doing this for a while. And another foul for Germany beyond the two-point line on Zavotkate. So we're going to have two more shots here. Still a lot of time. I'm always going to say it. Two minutes, 16 seconds left. Especially if they can get some of these scoring while the, the clock is not moving. This is definitely in their favor. Two for two from the line. Wilka, nice cross by Simon. Oof. Wanted her to finish that just for the crossover. Camille driving, drag step, step back. Oh, almost. Simon out to Rodefeld. Wilka, we're going small with Germany right now. We still get a layup inside. Rodefeld with the lay. Beautiful dime by Wilka. Lithuania, this is your time to score. Greiner is not on the floor, and that's exactly what Camille does. 17-13. Wilka with the fake spin. Footwork. Oh, gets blocked a little bit by Lithuania. Not so Kaida. Inside, a little bit of a fadeaway for Petronita. And Lithuania wants to call a timeout. Great turnaround fadeaway off one foot by Natsukaida. Came scoring at... The, great, the right time. One minute, 15 seconds. Germany is, is still uh, extending this league, but Lithuania, they're not going to go down without a fight. Again, I think they haven't been utilizing Monica Griglastica enough, especially inside, but 
Greiner is there. Their last matchup against France, they didn't really have that strong post presence. And Greiner can match her. They're both 6'3". Um, they both have that edge. So she hasn't been as effective in this matchup. Wilka dribbling on the outside. Pull up free throw line jumper. Back of the rim. Rebound Monica. Camille with it. Bounce pass. I needed her to move after that pass. But they gave it to Monica and let her go to work inside. And she scores. Hope someone's listening to me. Griner Hirsch hits the two-pointer. You think you have her in the post, and then she drills it from the outside, too. 17-14, Germany wins. Less than a minute left. 40 seconds. Wilka, I'll take the two. That comes up a little short. Griner <laughs> tossing bodies to get the rebound. Shuffle pass to Simon in the corner. That hits nothing. Natsukaida looking inside. To Monica, and that's an easy one point. 19-15, Lithuania is just going to come up short here as Wilka drains the two-pointer. And that took us to 21 for the win. Germany inches this one out. Lithuania was, was hanging on. But... Germany gets the win here. Very, very impressed. How could you not be impressed with number 14, Griner? She couldn't miss. You thought you had her in the point. She backed it out, shot a two-pointer. If you thought she was going to make another two-pointer, she'd come in and get a rebound put back. Greiner is the star of 3x3, and especially for this Germany team. When you see how they work together and score individually and as a team, the play calls, the defensive stops, everything. This is an all-around team. Germany sitting at top comfortably, 2-0, 42 points. Lithuania was their, their main contender, but... Uh, Germany up top. Next up, we have the home team. Oh, Canada and Spain coming up next.
finishes it. First points on the board goes to Spain. Corzon was shooting lights out in that first matchup against Czech Republic. Let's see if she's still hot. Marcial drives it, turns it over. Oma tried to get a bounce pass. She was way too close to Kanea. First time with Canada, Giles. Bosch. Looking for Marcial, great cut. And she scores it. The crowd is going wild. This is our home team. Oma got a little caught under the basket and Bosch comes away with it. Looking for Marcial. Giles with the screen, Marcial push back, push off a little bit. Gotta shoot that one. Not recognizing the fast shot clock. I like the idea of the drive, but you gotta shoot that first one. Nice pass and cut there. Bosch to Marcial. Oma with it up top. Kanea, left wing. Gets a screen by Pena. Wants to bounce it inside to her. Nice spin. Hook shot comes up short. Canada has the ball. Fumbles it a little bit, and Corazon tries to shoot it. Comes up short. Marcial takes a breather. But I feel like these two are very, very evenly matched. Canada is a very, you know, top team. They are without their stars. I'm going to say it every time. The Plouffe twins are not on this stop. But they're hoping that their teammates can still get the job done. And the thing is, you still have Paige Crozon, who's ranked number two in the nation and number five in the world. That is number seven in white. Got an offensive foul called on the play. And two-pointer up from Armas, and that's no good. Giles to Bosch, screen to Corzon. Great defense, great defense. Made her force a tough shot. Pena comes out with the rebound. And Kanea spins, surveys, nothing. Shoots the two in rhythm. Looked good for Giles. Nice pass to Kanea. Reverse lay. No. Quarter's on for two. She can hit that. Not this time, though. Oh. Giles tried to get Pena a facelift. Gets called for the foul. Six minutes, 57 seconds to play, and we are still tied at one to one. I think this goes with me saying these teams are evenly matched, and they both have, are very strong on the defensive end. So I would not be surprised if this is a low-scoring game, defensive, in the trenches, a battle. Estebas to check it. Kanea out to Oma. Can't shake Giles, tries to shoot the jumper. Kanea tips it to Estebas, in and out. But she gets her own rebound and still blocked on the rim. Is there a lid on the basket? It seems like it. 
Marcial dribbles. And it looks like Estebas got caught in a screen. Or tripped up. Tripped up by Giles. Canada with three fouls. Spain has yet to foul. Great pass. Little too aggressive defense, and Oma makes her pay. Turnover. Spain gets it. Pena out. Oma driving left-handed. Oh, I thought that went in. Pena was there for cleanup crew. Nice lay there by Oma. Pena at the free throw line. 25 year old, big, and she is putting in work. Very impressed with her play so far. Giles, great take. Really strong with the left hand. She's so much longer than everybody else. She can use those finishes to her advantage. Bosch chases the rebound, gets it back. Another look at that, great take. Her extension with her left hand, she's almost already touching the backboard when she extends for the layup. Hope she continues to pick her spots. Kanea inside doing a couple fakes and puts it in. Bosch out to Crozon. Cross court pass lands in Bosch's lap and she hits it off the backboard. I thought the banks were closed, but I guess they still open. Nice seal by Pena for Spain. Now here's the scoring. Crozon fakes it, gets a wide open lay and blows it. Oh no. You can never be more open than that. Great shot there. Four minutes and 46 seconds left in this one. Nice up and under move by Oma. She is winning that battle right now between her and Giles. Little step back by Kanea, no good. Soaring in for the rebound is Giles, number nine in white. She's dribbling, looking inside to Crozon. Running out of time, one second left, had to throw it up. Good defense there by Spain. Kanea on the wing, driving, spins, thought she got hit. Running out of time, one second, has to put it up. Hits the back of the rim for Armas. Kanea trying to find her, her stroke there. Giles, quick rip move, decides to pull back and shoot the jumper. Oh, hits her knee. Oma inside to Pena, back out to Oma. Bounce pass inside to Pena. Are they going to count it? Oh, no basket. Great give and go there from big to small. Timeout on the court. Look at that foul count. I really want us to pay attention there. Canada has six fouls. Spain has not committed a foul. I think that's just a testament to how great 
their defenses. They are aggressive, but not overly aggressive. This foul count might come back and bite Canada, but it's also keeping them to only four points. I called it early. This is a dog fight. Four to six, just under the four minute mark. Screen by Pena. Armas tried to go behind the back, or Kanea tried to go behind the back to no one there. Bosch driving, step through. Got confused where she was. Oma tried to sail it over the rim to Kanea. Not the best pass, especially in this. You just want to make the smart pass to the next available player. You don't want to do too many skip passes because the defense can read those. Bosch having it on the high post. Kanea looking for her three. Bosch wide open for her two. Follows her on rebound, tips it back out to Marcielle, who shoots a two, hits nothing. Wiping her hands as if they were a little slippery. Kanea drills it for two. Spain up by four against Canada. This would be a huge win for Spain. And Kanea is a shooter. Can't give her that much space. That's in the scouting report. It's on my scouting report, so I hope it was on theirs. Bosch to Giles on the high post. Foul on Oma. Spain's first foul of the game. They have been so into it and deliberate about not fouling. And as I say that, <laughs> Oma picks up two quick ones. <laughs> two in a row. Going to keep going to that spot, see if they can keep getting the fouls. Crozon from two. She is off the mark. But there's Giles for the cleanup crew. Oma driving on Crozon. Crozon knocks it out of her hands. Kanea for two. Off the backboard to beat the buzzer. Crozon got to get going here for Canada who are down by five, but Giles is getting some easy ones inside. Kanea puts it in. Great pass by Armas to lob it over the defense. 11 to six, Spain is winning. Bosch, tough shot, tries to get it off the backboard, and there's a foul on the rebound. This is the fourth match of Pool B, Canada. On the rocks here, Spain is really taking it to him. Star player, one of the best players in the world, Paige Crozon, can't really get going. Giles at the free throw line. Marcial can't find her touch. But Spain with the rebound. Pena with the screen. Armas trying to wrap around pass. That gets picked off by Canada. Bosch up top. Has Giles on the roll. Pass gets broken up. Marcial driving to the left. Blocked by Pena. Great defense by Spain. Canada does not have an answer to the swarming defense that Spain has been put on them. Six 
six to 11. Spain with the lead. Giles had to shoot a quick shot and she fumbled the ball. So now possession goes back to Spain. One minute, 42 seconds. They just have to be smart here. This is a low scoring game. So you're gonna try to score as many points as possible just for the pool standings. But you don't wanna try to go too fast too soon and give Canada an opportunity to come back in this one. Three X three, every possession is so valuable. The ball, having possession of the ball is so, so valuable. But Spain has really shown that the defense of in can truly help you win these games as they get a really easy layup there. Bosch tried to sneak out and get another shot, gets blocked by the rim on the rebound, put back. Kanea out for two. Armas shoots it. No good. Giles with the rebound. Passing it to Corzon. Corzon can't get into it, but Giles, a left handed lay. Almost a steal by Bosch. Canada trying to speed up Spain. Spain slowing it down. Steal by Corzon. Shoots the two. Short. Oh, that would have been so good. Pena with the screen. Kanea passes it to her inside. Breaks it up by Bosch. They need a two. Can she hit it? No. Off the back of the rim. Pena with the rebound. 30 seconds. Canada is running out of time. Spain looks like they are going to run away with this one, especially after that close loss in overtime to USA earlier today. This is a good win for Spain. Now, this will put Canada at one apiece. Corzon needs to be on the back of a milk carton. She was missing in action this game. Their team really needed her for at least some of those two pointers to drop. But she got nothing. 26 seconds left in this one. Next up, Lithuania and Dusseldorf Zeus. Giles spins with her left hand. The left hand has been money all game. 8 to 12. 16 seconds left. Oh, the drive and layup by Kanea. The dagger. Oh, a two-pointer by Giles. Two seconds left. Kanea. Oh, Canada came up so short. Great play this game by Giles. Canada only scoring 10 points. I don't remember the last time that that happened. Spain scoring 13. And their defense wins that one. The first loss for Casey Bosch from Canada as they were on a solid winning streak. Spain handed them that L. Next up, we have Lithuania and Dusseldorf Zeus. Lithuania had a very short break <laughs> as uh, they are back in action right after these highlights. Oh, 
contre 3, et ben, c'est du basketball. À pied de tout s'est mis sur la vitesse et sur le spectacle. J'espère que vous appréciez. On va savoir dans quelques instants avec le volet numéro 3 de la compétition. Et on vous invite à envoyer un courriel à notre rouge or pour peut-être gagner une paire de billets de saison pour assister au match au PEC dans le circuit universitaire cet hiver. Donc, la façon de participer, très, très simple, prenez votre téléphone maintenant. Vous envoyez un courriel à l'adresse que je vous donne maintenant. Rouge or basket gmail.com. Je le répète, rouge or basket gmail.com. Vous mettez dans l'onglet sujet le mot concours et voilà, vous êtes inscrit pour peut-être remporter une paire de billets de saison pour la saison 2022-2023 de votre rougeur de l'Université de Laval.
All right, welcome back to the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series. The next game up is Lithuania versus Zeus. Lithuania, not too many minutes ago, just dropped their first game of the day. And Zeus is still looking for their first win of the day. Lithuania lost to Germany and Zeus also lost to Germany earlier today. So this last batch of games for the rest of the day. Little look inside the schedule. Right now, Lithuania and Zeus. After that, Spain, Czech Republic, then France, Germany, and then the final game of the day that you will not want to miss, USA versus Canada. There's a little bit of rematch there, a little bit of history there. That is the emphatic exclamation point to cap the day. So that is coming a little bit later on. But right now, we get to watch some more basketball. So buckle up. 
Lith this Lithuania team is a really, really good team, but I need Dusseldorf Zeus to get a W today. I really need them to. Let's see if this is this is their chance. Um, again, I'm talking about matchups. What matchup is I am I going to be looking at? Degbon versus Monica Grieg Laskita. That is going to be the matchup in the post. I'm a guard myself, so I always got love for the guards. But today, the post players are showing out. And it starts with number 10 in white. We know we got our hype woman, Camille Natsukaita. And the sharpshooter, Petra Naita. And then, Deuce Deuce, number 22, Egla Zabotkate. It's, um, this Lithuania team is, is very, very solid. I'm actually surprised that they did drop the game that they, that they did to Germany, but Germany's just, they're just so good. Um, both of these teams are very aware of how good Germany is. But Zeus, I'm still impressed. Katsura, Yuka, Degbon, and of course, Sta, number 14. They have really been putting on a show. I, this is my first showing of them. This is their first women's series. Um, again, they are the German commercial team. First time commercial teams are on the women's series tour. And they are the newbies. But it seems they, you know, you check their, you check their Instagram, their team. They are just so happy to be here. Katsuya, who just flipped the coin, number twenty-five, founded this team in April twenty twenty-two, and the mission she quoted that was translated from Japanese. It says to redesign the sports environment surrounding women. She really wanted to create this team for women empowerment to be able to continue to play basketball she was retired she came out of retirement to start this team and um i think the future is very very bright the design they're sponsored by jordan uh jordan brand not me jordan i'm jordan liggins but the jordan brand um the, the future is bright for them, but the future is also bright for this Lithuanian team who has already won a title at Prague. Let's see if they can get another win today. We are off. Nice pass inside to Degbon, and here she goes. She's on her roll. She's in her bag already. Inside to Monica. One to one. We're scoring quickly here. It also looks like the sun has definitely changed from the top of the day. Looking like it is very bright trying to shoot towards the basket. So I hope that is not an issue for some of the players. I know I saw some of them trying to shoot a free throw basically blind. Degbon has the rebound. Getting it out to Yucca. Tries to throw it up. Natsukaita dribbling, trying to take Yuka and scores it. Sta, all by herself, shoots the jumper, comes up a little short. Degbon's there for cleanup. There she go. Three-second call on Camille Natsukaita. Good rebound and put back. Degbon is not afraid of the dirty work. She will get it done. Katsuya up there on the top. Yuka dribbling. Katsuya trying to think about the two-pointer. She takes it. Comes up really short. Again, I'm giving them all the benefit of the doubt because the sun is very bright. 
We'll see if that continues to affect long range shots later. Right now, Lithuania ball. Nice patience there by Monica Griglaskita. Right now, Degbon is out, couldn't stop her. Short again from two for Katsuya. Degbon back in. She's only gonna have very quick breaks. <laughs> Especially if Monica is making layups like that. Had to force up the shot because of the shot clock violation. Again, if you're just tuning in, these games go by fast. 10 minutes on the clock, 12 second shot clocks, no halftime, no coaches. These ladies are playing nonstop at a very high speed. The only thing that stops is foul calls and balls going out of bounds but everything else is non-stop you continue to play you clear it after a shot goes up nice seal but a great block by Tegbon. but Camille still puts it in pick and roll floats it up to Tegbon. comes up a little bit short there is Natsukaita again Driving to the right, lost her footing, kept her pivot foot down, but threw it out of bounds. She is upset at herself. Nice seal inside, but way to stay with it. Great block. Yuka to Katsuda. Foul. We got some stoppage of play a lot early in this one. Inbounds go to Katsua. Front facing cut to Degbon and she loses it out of bounds. Petra Naita is a sharp shooter. Gotta watch out for her. Four to two. Lithuania. Up Yuka. Wild shot. Petra Naita tries to get it inside and gets broken up. Lithuania basketball. Looking inside to their post presence against Katsuda. Bodies. Comes up short. Yuka with the rebound. Katsuda sends it. Misses it. Looking inside. Post po or guards posting up. Love to see it. But Natsukaita comes up short. Katsuda with the lane. Make some pay. Puts it in. Three to four. Zeus down by one. Make that one still. Katsuda's pace is kicking up here. Line a look inside to Yuka, but that is definitely a mismatch in there. Another look at that broken play turning into a great play. For Katsuda. Media timeout four to three. We are on match five of Pool A in Quebec City, Quebec for the women's series. FIBA 3X3. It has been a great day of basketball so far. So many good games. We had an overtime game, we had some nail biters. But just the level of talent that is out there is, is outstanding. This has been such a close women's series all season long. I mentioned it earlier, but I'll say it again. Six teams have won the titles out of the eight stops. It has not been one team dominating. Nice pass. Nice finish inside for Monica. Oh, almost got that up for Sta. Camille kicking back out to Monica. Driving, stopping, middle of the key jumper. No good. 
Degman with the Degban with the rebound. Katsuda trying to get it back to her. Running out of time. Two seconds left on the shot clock. Having to throw it up gets blocked. Lithuania says, I'll take that. And that's exactly what Camille Natsukaita does. Picks up the foul to stop the clock, but that was quite the sequence. Lithuania up 7-3 to three on Dusseldorf. Fouls is two to one. Some solid defense. Sta with the flare screen misses everything. Sta is is very very much a, sh a scorer. She's only twenty five now, but when she was fifteen, she led the WNBL with thirty five points a game.
aussi des meilleurs joueurs au monde et euh, qui sont classés donc sur le circuit World Tour. Donc cinq équipes des hommes représenteront demain une ville. And we're back. Sorry about those technical difficulties. I missed you guys. Score is 15 to 11. A minute and a half left. Lithuania seems like they were taking care of business while we were gone. Time out. This is when I wish we had a chat function so you can tell me what I missed. But Lithuania, this is a good win for them. Came up on top earlier today against France. Lost the match against Germany not too long ago. They had to come here and take care of business against Dusseldorf Zeus, which this will be the third loss for Zeus. Again, the girlies are new. They're new to the women's series. Still super happy for them to be here. Another team that is a commercial team is Force 10 um, for USA. So more teams, the better. We love to see it. Petronaita out to Natsiskaita. Draw back, nice pass, found the way. Monica with the lay. They still gonna fight. Drop step left hand by Degbon. Camille, 50 seconds left. Lithuania is also just trying to score some points as Camille shoots the two and drills it. Looking inside to Degmon, who gets another easy layup. Down by four. Wow, this would be really close if Camille did not just make that two. And she's about to hit another one, and she does. Back to back. Degmon trying to answer and sends it to the other side. Katsua trying to get a give and go. And there's a foul on the play. 14 to 20, 11 seconds left. That was quite the dagger by Captain Camille Natsukaita. Another free throw good for Zeus. Lithuania not having to shoot it here, but they are. Oh, a steal. Oh, so close. But there is a perfect example of Dusseldorf Zeus not quitting until the final second. Lithuania comes out with this one up top. Next up on the schedule, we have Spain and Czech Republic. Look at the highlights from the last matchup. Camille was keeping it real and scoring a ton, especially those last two points in the last 40 seconds of the game. Katsuya is still leading her team the best she can. Ah, that should have been an in one. They were letting it fly. Whew. It's a sniper today. 
Oh, nice spin. Nice reverse lay by Katsuya. Since our feed went out, I'm watching these highlights for the first time. <laughs> I, I really like this Lithuania team. Uh, I hope we can see them go real far tomorrow. As we can see, they're still at the top, 2-1, to one because they have those 54 points. Germany, 2-0, and oh, but only scored 42. France, 1-1. One and, one. and Dusseldorf, Zeus, 0-3. Oh Next up, we got Spain. Czech Republic here in Quebec City, Quebec for the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series. Thanks for hanging out with me all day today. I'm Jordan Liggins. I have been your host. We have a couple more games left after this one, France and Germany, and then the finale, USA and Canada. But right now, it's España and Czech Republic. Czech Republic earlier today has lost both of their matches against Canada and USA. Spain lost a nail biter against USA, but they beat Canada in a kind of a shocker, I think. So I hope uh, I hope Spain is riding high from that from not too long ago. Matthew Boyle and Kayla Dawson on the referees for this match. We're getting set to go underway. This Czech Republic team is, is trying to find their footing. They seem a little bit out outmatched. I don't know if it's shot selection, if it's height disadvantages. Um, but Spain does have a prominent post player with Peña inside, and Kanea can play inside a little bit too. She's also a shooter. So I wonder if Czech Republic will have the same issue that they've been having in their first couple matches today where it, it seems like a, a size issue. Um, they also have had some, a couple slow starts, so if maybe they get a jump on Spain early get some stops but we also know that Spain is very very good on the defensive end too quick bucket there for Peña and España great drive by Riliova but just came up short Peña again threw it away little miscommunication Great pass, great dump pass inside. Pena taking care of business. Good switching. The defense on Spain. It is swarming. They have the offensive player in shackles. Kanea with the turnaround jumper, no good. Tries to get her own rebound. Czech Republic with the three-pointer comes up flat for Galichkova. Hits nothing for Estebas. Wonder how much that is the sun. It has moved since the last time that they played. But no excuses. Got to make those.
Uh, wide open. She's a shooter. Can't do that. Whew. Got lucky there. Clearing it out for Rilihova. She's still driving. Pick and roll. Beautiful action for Galichkova. Pena underneath. Kanea behind the back. Gets a little lost and she travels. Four to three, Czech Republic still very much in this. I, I said they just had to have a quick start. Come out the gates a little faster. Get into their sets a little faster too, down to four seconds. Pena is taking full, complete advantage, as she should, for the Spain team. I think we're having another check on the score here. So it's six to four, or should it be six to five? I'm not sure if that last jumper by Roseska was a two pointer or a one pointer. But the refs are wanting to check it up. So there it is five to six. So Spain is only up by one. High post action. This time up for Riliova. No good, but Czech Republic just has a pep in their step. They are coming for Spain. I'm here for it. Kanea outside looking for Pena. Little fake drop step, turn around, left hand, no good. Great follow and the foul for Roseska. 
Have yourself a game. Heading to the free throw line. I wasn't mad at the two-point shot, and I really wasn't mad at the follow. Reward yourself at the charity stripe. Ah, just rolls off, though. Oma driving, left hand. No one stops her, takes it all the way. Bounces out, gets her own rebound. There is a call on the floor. Double checking with the table again. Still six to five, foul count, super low, one to one. Oma to inbound. Hand off to Armas and can't get it to go. So Tolova driving, finishing. She's so smooth with it. Kanea outside. Omaha has it. Driving left handed. Gets stripped. Keeps it. Shot clock winding down. Great defense by Czech Republic. And they're still in it. Step back, air ball. No follow. This Czech Republic team are like, Spain, we ain't scared of you. They are bringing it with energy, effort, and the shots will fall if you come with those things. Spain's defense is not at the, the level that it was that shut down Canada earlier today. And that free throw rolls in for really over. Pena outside to Oma. Looking for her inside. Shot clock has to be winding down. One second and gets it for Armas. Sotolova fumbles it a little bit. One second. And really, Hova's two-pointer doesn't hit the rim. Pena with the high post. Weave action here. Kanea driving left, stops, drop steps, fades away. Wants the foul call and then picks up the foul. That seemed like that was a little bit out of frustration because we're tied up. It's 7-7. Seven to seven. 450 left in this one. Reminder, France and Germany will come right after this. Sotolova follows her shot. Looking for the hot hand, and she hits it again. Roseska. She is on fire and not afraid of this Spanish team. As Pena throws it out of bounds, they are flustered. Czech Republic took the lead with that two-pointer, 9-7. to seven. Roseska is having the game of her life. Great, great drive by Sotolova. Fouled by Estebas. This is the last game of the day for both of these teams, and it seems like Czech Republic is leaving it all on the floor. They want their last game to be a W. Sotolova drains that free throw. Kanea out. Oma spins a little out of control, and they're going to get Kanea for over the back. High post action. I would find the hot hand. Here she comes. What you gonna do? Step back, fade away. That one comes up short, but uh, hey, you have the greenest of light right now, Roseska. 
Anamas looking inside for Pena. That's where they have the advantage, and this time it drops. 8-10. to ten. Spain is down, and they go to sleep, but Pena there with the block for the quick recovery for Pena, number 33 in white. Lightning speed for Sotolova, but just can't finish the lay. Kanea driving, spinning, stopping. Maybe a travel, but no call there. She scores the point. Sotolova driving left. Has nothing. Roseska thought about it, threw it away. Timeout. Everybody gets a break. 320 left. Spain down by one. Not the same intensity. They're really looking for Kanea to, to get going. But Pena has really been the go-to person for Spain. Really taking advantage of that size advantage. Uh, the size difference that we're seeing right there in that replay. Got to keep looking for her, but the defensive intensity is not the same like it was against Canada earlier. They're going to have to get some stops to be able to stop Czech Republic, but that's a great start. Pena with the M1 off a great pass. They don't have an answer for her if they keep feeding Pena inside. Off the mark. Way to get on the floor. Fighting for the ball. Kanea in the key, camping out. Banks it off the glass. Spain, new leader. 11 to 10, Roseka got to get going again for her Czech Republic team. Nice move there by Riliova. Faked everybody out. They are battling inside. But that was a great move, great patience by Riliova. Sometimes she can really get sped up and not shoot the best shot. But that was a great example of the best shot and best timing. Kanea driving to the lane. Great defense there. And then picks up a foul. Kanea is really struggling today as really Hova hit the ground really hard. Seems like she's going to be okay. She's a tough cookie. Oh, yeah, she got smacked in the face. Kanea really struggling. You can see her frustrations are coming out in her fouls. Now that is six fouls to three. Knocked it down for Armas. 11 to 13, two point game. Looking for Kane inside, try to get things going. She hits another. Roseka has to get her team great find. Oh, just missed it for Sotolova. Oma trying to post up inside. She's all alone, spins baseline, tries to reverse it. Good. Two minutes remaining in this one, and we are all tied up. Sotolova, step back, two-pointer just short. Oma with the rebound. They're going small here. No Pena on the floor, and Spain coughs it up. Roseka trying to drive baseline, but the clamps that Oma has on her, the defense is unreal. This is the Spain team that we know, but still, somehow, Roseka gets the bucket. 14 13, one minute and 30 seconds left in this one. One foot two pointer for Kanea, no good.
thought there was going to be a shot clock reset, but she had to force that one up. Nice move on that one by Oma. Again, last game of the day for these two teams. Leave it all out there. One minute and 21 seconds left. One point game. Really, really impressed with Czech Republic. This will be their first win of the day if they can pull it out and keep their pool hopes alive. Great cut. Can't finish. Oma with the rebound. Pena back in. Armas driving behind the back. Layup. Good. All tied up at 14. Roseca, can she answer? No. Oma thought about it. Dumped it inside to Pena. Now Spain is on a roll. You got to stop them. Good finish there by Riliova. Armas pulls it back out, gets it to Pena, gets it back. 35 seconds left. We're all tied. Armas wants the two. Doesn't hit anything. Shot clock was winding down, and we have a timeout. 29.7 seconds, and we're all tied up. Spain closed the gap on that lead really quick. <laughs> But that was a great bucket there by Roseca, really able to take her time, but a little shake and bake behind the back, baby. That was lovely. See that again. And the finger roll off the glass for Paula Estebas Armas. Beautiful. You know, this Spanish team is definitely a powerhouse. They are used to excellence and winning. They won in Bordeaux, second in Prague to Lithuania. They are missing superstars, Sandra, you get a vide. But the pieces that the Spanish team have, especially I love the defense that Helena Oma plays on the guard position. And Pena have, has really been dominant. 28.6. Gave a little more extra time. Back door. Blocked by Kanea. Great block. Great recovery. I'm just talking about the defense. Really, Hova has been taking some, some punches from Kanea. She has been falling all over the floor. But this is crunch time. Who is going to finish it out? 20 seconds left. Czech Republic has the ball deep. Three and drills it. Oh, my gosh. Katrajina drills the deep two. My apologies. From downtown Toronto as the shot clock is winding down. Wow. Score on my side, it still says that it's tied, but I don't know if that was under the review or okay, there we go. Czech Republic 17, Spain 15, 12.8 seconds. That was a deep two by Katarzyna Galichkova. Really, really crunch time. 12.8. Shot clock is 12 seconds. It's going to be Spain ball. Kanea is inbounding. Will they go to Pena? Oh, she was all alone under the basket. They missed her. Blocked by Czech Republic. This one seems to be all over. Wow. Czech Republic for the win. Katarzyna Galichkova, the deep two-pointer to put them up by two and win the game and beat Spain.
That is a big, big win for Czech Republic. Spain now lost two games today, only beating Canada. When they played Canada, they looked like a different team. They were on a mission, but Czech Republic was on a mission today, okay? Roseka, number 15 in red, was having a night. She could not miss in the first five minutes. She was unstoppable. But then the other players, Solitova, Rilihova, Galichkova, all of them really stepped up for this team. It was really a team effort, and you had to to stop this Spanish team. On the other side, Pena did her job. Kanea struggled a little bit, got into some foul trouble. But Czech Republic really gave it to them. Wow, that was a good one. Next up, the second to last game for the day, France and Germany. France lost to Lithuania earlier today. And Germany is undefeated for the night. So this is going to be a good one. Coming up after these highlights. Quick look at the poll B for Pool B. USA undefeated with 38 points. Spain 1 and 2 but with 44 points. Czech Republic also 1 and 2. 32, Canada at the bottom, one and one. Wow. What a day of 3x3 basketball, France and Germany coming up next. France stop the reign of Greiner and Germany. No one has been able to stop Zonia Greiner, number 14, right there in red. No one has been able to stop her today or really ever. So it's France up to the challenge. If not, Germany has potential of going undefeated on the day well on their way to another title at this Quebec City, Quebec stop. Don't forget, we'll be back tomorrow. This is not over. Tomorrow we will have the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and the final. All, you know, we'll, we'll be here all weekend. We're partying. It's 3x3, baby. We can't just do one day. But what a day it's been so far. And the second to last game is off. Quick bucket inside by Bernice for Team France. Greinhardt, they're sending a double. That could be the only answer. Do not let her beat you one on one. You gotta, she gotta beat you one on two. She's going to have to be able to pass out of those double teams, especially if she gets it low on the block. That seems like that's going to be France's um, 
game plan. Right there, Guapo turns it over, thinking Mane was going to roll to the basket, which she should have. She would have had a wide open layup. Wilka slowly becoming one of my favorite players. Oh, oh that would have been so nice. As I'm saying that, great defense there on MVP superstar Guapo. Wilka is not afraid as we're tied up one to one. This pace is quick. Guapo drives on Simon. Here we go. Guapo high post out to Bernese, driving it. Left-handed lay. Two points for France. Two points for Bernese. Great take inside. Just missed it for Simone. And they call a foul. Simone, only 23. The lefty might be the youngest in the women's series. She is getting excellent experience. She also has those young legs. So she can run forever. <laughs> Remember those days. Fouled called on.
Still up one, despite grinding her not getting everything that she usually gets. Guapo on the take. It's been quite a bit of stoppage here so far in this one. And Simon was holding, yes. High post action for Guapo. Drop step. Tries to spin. And it rolls out. Rodefeld with the rebound. Oh. Wilka drives in. Seven twenty one is the time. France down by one. This is match six of the really competitive Pool A. Germany is undefeated on the day. They're looking for their third title of the series, and that one rolls out for Wilka. Manet has it up top, looking for the screen from Guapo. She pulls up from two, short. Rodefeld with the rebound, out to Greinaher, has the advantage and just takes it right to the rim. Can't do anything about that. Stervenu tried to capitalize with a two, but to no avail. We're going to have a media timeout. Lou Rodefeld, like I said, the heartbeat of this team is trying to rally her team up. Saying we can we can do a lot more, especially trying to get it more into Grinerher. But France is doing a really, really great job of double teaming because we can see what happens when Grinerher gets free. She's a bucket when there's a mismatch or when you try to go one on one. You're gonna have to either completely front her, com don't let her get the ball, but if she does get it. Send some help from an off-wing guard or, or from, you know, make someone else beat you. Bananese outside, no good. Rodefeld with it. Greinaher, nice dime. Great pick and roll action from Rodefeld and Greinaher. And France did it right back. Manet with the reverse lay. Simon. Strong drive in the paint. Just rolls off, gets her own rebound. Stays with it. Looks like that was a injury to Stervenu. But she faked it. She's back. She made the layup. Greinaher driving. Simon picks it up. Rodefeld looking for Greinaher, and they foul. Stervenu holding her face. It's a great pass. Great finish with the left hand. Great finish by Manet. Greinerher is at the free throw line. France is already with seven fouls. We have a long way to go with six minutes left. It's going to be a lot of free throws for Germany if they continue to foul. Reinhardt makes them pay. France with the clear. Stervenu gets foul. Or nope, that was Bernice. Stervenu enters the game. Bernice checks it up. Who gets some space? Comes up short on the two. Rodefeld tracks down that ball. Wilka. Two guard game. Nice hezzy by Rodefeld, but gets blocked by Guapo. Now she's one on one on Grinerher. Spins and puts it in for Guapo, the former number one in the world. Rodefeld pulls up from the free throw line. She had a lane. She could have kept going. Pulled up for the jumper. She could have went all the way.
Guapo has it on the high post. Mane decides to shoot the two and splash. Eight to nine, one point game now. Wilka got stuck, had nowhere to go. Stervenu with the rebound and chase down. Guapo on the outside, screen by Mane. Guapo takes the two and drills it. This is the French team, I know. And a steal by Guapo. What a sequence. Behind the back pass gets broken up by Rodefeld. Got a little too fancy, but I love it. Got the two-pointer by Mane. And then another two-pointer by Guapo. France trying to hand Germany their first loss of the day. And wow, Stervenu also a two. This has been quite the stretch for France. Greiner has not been able to find her stroke, and neither has Lou. From outside, France a chance here to really stretch this lead. Manet driving, kicks back, shot clock has expired. Bernays fights for it to get it back. <laughs> she is so feisty. She is someone you would love to have on your team but really hate to play against. We all know a player like that. Check ball. France has it up top. High post action with Manet. Down screen. Coming up for Guapo. Double screen. And we have another foul. Simon. Twelve to nine. France really went on a tear there. Germany not able to get Greiner as involved as they have before and as they want to. Bernays, great step back. Comes up short. Kreiner going for the on-ball screen. Wilka loses it, and they run out of time, and Kreiner gets hit in the face. Got a TV timeout. Germany seems a little rattled, a little frazzled. France is taking it to him. Three forty nine left in this one. Coming up, USA and oh Canada, the home team and their rivals from their neighbors. USA Canada coming up in about four minutes. Last game of the day. But we got to get through this one first. I don't know who's going to pull it out. Can France hold on if they keep shutting down Greiner? I think so. Oh, wow. Oh, man. That was a great play. Wide open layup. Greiner finds it inside, and yep, here she comes. Here she comes. Mane out to serve a new. Yeah, she took an extra step. Took an extra step. Little indecisive. She didn't know if she wanted to do a step through or pass it off. She kind of did an in between. Got a little turned around. Mane is so great at getting a hand on every pass. I wish we were keeping track of deflections because she would be winning that category. It wouldn't even be close. Rodefeld caught underneath. And Bernice gets called for the foul. A lot of ball, a lot of ball there.
And I think she got called for the technical. Her second of the day, I might add. <laughs> ah, Griner can't make him pay. Missed the free throw. Now Rodefeld steps up to the line. Are in the bonus, so two shots. This could have been a three-point trip if Rod if um, Griner made hers and she missed her free throw. Points on the board, just left. Stavenu driving, gets a little clogged, tries to pass it out. Guapo for two. Dagger. Rodefeld inside to Griner. Tries to scoop it up and does. She's so good. Steal for Germany. Simone with the layup. Here they come. Guapo for the two off the backboard. Simone out to grind her, but look who's there. Manet with the steal and to Stervenu. Woo! The pace is cooking. Manet out to Guapo. Sets the on ball screen. Doesn't roll. And the shot clock has expired. No one knew. No one knew that it, it did not reset. That was a... <laughs> Everybody was dizzy after that sequence. We had a two. We had a layup. Wow. Sixteen, twelve. France really went on a tear there. Germany not going away in their favor. France is really in foul trouble. So Germany has to attack, attack, attack because if they get the foul call. They're going to the free throw line and the clock stopped. Another issue with the score. So it's 13, 16, three point game. France has it. Screen for Guapo. Guapo driving. No good. Ran out of time. Griner had some time. Shoots the two short. Guapo with the rebound. Bernice up top. Dribbling, dribbling, fading. No. And then call a foul on Simon. She was a little too aggressive on that box out. It was more of a holdout. France basketball, two minutes left in this one. Foul count is high. Adrenaline is high. Tensions are high. Baronese in the corner. Nowhere to go. Dribbles left. Pulls up. Drains it. Beautiful jumper there for Baronese. Oof, little out of control for Wilka. Not her best match. Germany, see if they still have some life in them. Rodefeld, Wilka up top. They're on the floor without Greiner. This is crunch time. I would not have taken her out, but she's probably needed a breath. Guapo loses it. Shuffle pass out. Shot clock winding down, no good. France gets the rebound. Guapo, spin move, good. She's fired up. Plus the foul. Dribbles left, spins right. She's pumped up. Former number one player in the world. She is a superstar. World Cup MVP. Wasn't there with the team in Bucharest. Now she's back. And even, you know, without her, France made it to the semis. 
came up short. So with Guapo, I don't like their odds. Puts it in. Oh, wow. If they're in the bonus and they score, then it's also two free throws. Oh, can't capitalize it. But France is close. They're, at, they're sitting at 19. One minute left. Pick and roll. Wilka not in it. She floats it up and it's stolen. Manet. Wild shot. Oh, stolen. Oh. Oof, her niece. Takes a breather. Bodefeld has it up top. A lot of time. A lot of time. Gets grinding her. That's the easiest shot she's had all night. They've made it tough on her. Guapo, Manet for two. No good. Rodefeld, pump fake, takes the two, back of the iron. We need more twos from Lou. Driving, loses it. Stervenu then takes the two and makes it. Cold game after the steal in Germany. Drops, first loss of the day comes to France 21 to 14 very impressive game by France very very good game Guapo showed that she is the superstar that she is and the supporting cast really they had the mission of stopping Sandra Greiner and that is exactly what they did. What a game. What a game. With that win for France, that puts them on 2-1 and one for the day. And Germany, 2-1. Or, yeah, two and one. Okay. That was a, a good matchup that we might see again. Next game up, USA versus, Can versus Canada. Last game of the day. A matchup, blockbuster matchup between Canada and USA. Coming up right after these highlights. Canada lost their last game against Spain, proving that they are beatable and they are human. USA been looking real good all day. Just saying. They are undefeated on the day, but get this. In the women's series this season, they are 0-2 against Canada. They have not been able to beat them. They are their nemesis. So this game is big because that would mean that USA is undefeated on the day, but also that they finally beat Canada, that they have been struggling with all series long. Can they do it? Canada, meanwhile... Beat USA each time. First loss in 10 games came against Spain. 
a couple hours ago. So let's see if they can shake that off. It was really the lockdown defense that Spain did that just flabbergasted Canada. Um, let's see if the USA can do the same. I was really impressed with Mayel Giles that last game. She really got to the rim, which seems like that was her specialty, especially going left. She has such long wingspan that she has to take that to the advantage. But now she's matched up against a Lauren Cox, who's over well over six feet and ready to, you know, bang in the post. So Giles has to be able to, to respond to that. I'm also looking for Corzon, the top player in 3x3. Shout out to our refs. Paige Corzon has to show up for her team. She did not do much against Spain, and I think that's a lot of credit to the Spanish team for locking her up. But these teams, very, very familiar with each other. This is the USA's chance, I think, to, uh, to get one. Get one against them. All right, guys. Last game of the day. USA versus the home team of Canada. Super home team for Mayel Giles, who is from Quebec City, Quebec. And the fans are on their side. USA not only has to beat the team, but also the fans. <laughs> USA won the toss, so it is their ball first. That sun. I told you, seems like it is really hard to see. But there is a shady spot on that right side of the court. Lauren Cox missed that. Sierra Burdick with the rebound drives, stops, and a shot clock violation since that last shot did not hit the rim. This one just underway. Last game of the day. Bosch driving. Giles, jumper, drills it. She seems a lot more comfortable if you ask me. Sierra Burdick getting the screen from Lauren Cox. Driving underneath the basket, blocked by the rim, gets it back, puts it in with the left hand. That seemed real easy. I like that matchup for her. Bosch surveying outside, does a step through, soft touch, and puts it in. We are moving here, ladies and gentlemen. Lauren Cox on the outside sees Richardson inside and gets the foul. That is definitely a mismatch for Bosch. Alan Taylor inside, back screen for Lauren Cox, puts in the layup two to two. Calls on for two, comes up short. Alan Taylor with the rebound, Burdick has it outside. Eight seconds on the shot clock, Lauren Cox out to Alan Taylor. Drives it, pull up jumper, beautiful, comes up short though, but gets her own rebound, way to stay with it, puts it in. Giles dribbles out. Is that an and one? Count it. Okay. Coming with a mission here is Mayel. All tied up. Here's a chance for Canada to go in front early, and they do. Richardson, no good. Burdick there with the weak side rebound. Alan Taylor, Bosch says, I'm right here. Where are you going? Richardson inside. Oh, just rolls out. She doesn't really go for too many layups, or she hasn't today. 
Bosch against Alan Taylor. I like this matchup. Oh, wow. Wow. Berta can't finish. Giles sticks with it. Shuffle pass to Giles at the high post, and we have a travel. Shuffled her feet. USA Basketball. Screen by Lauren Cox, but Alan Taylor pulls up. She's been short on her shot all day. Not getting a lot of legs. But she's been doing a really good job on the defensive end. Out to Bosch. Inside to Crozon. Step through. Lauren Cox said, get it out of here. Don't even play with me like that. Alan Taylor out to Richardson, who is a shooter. Misses right, but gets the steal. Throws it out. Alan Taylor, 5-4. Throws it up to Lauren Cox, and she gets fouled. There was definitely a mismatch there for Marcial. Too little. Too little. Too late. Curls on, tries to float it inside to, G to Giles, and that was no good. Lauren Cox with the turnaround, also no good. Curls on, back out to Bosch, sets the screen. Bosch dribbles out, sets another screen, dribbles into traffic, doesn't have the touch there. Richardson gets the rebound out to Burdick. Lauren Cox with it on the left wing. Richardson thinking about it, step back two, short. She typically makes those. Just coming up a little short now. Giles filling it. Little out of control. Verdict up top to Richardson. Lauren Cox on the left high post. Gets the handoff to Burdick. Needs this jumper to fall and doesn't. But Burdick follows it. And we have a media timeout. These two teams really evenly matched. But USA stuck at three points. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Plenty of time in this one. Again, last game. Of the day, USA is undefeated up until this point. Canada did drop a game to Spain, so I, f I see the energy. They are fired up to not lose another one. Warren Cox a little frustrated. Nothing's coming really easy to her in this one. They have the size to match up with her and the skill set. Quarter zone. Outside. Thought about the two. Really wanting it. Giles doesn't recognize the shot clock. Let's go. Sierra Burdick, high post. And a nice back screen. I love that play. The basketball nerd in me is obsessed. Oh, can we get another look at that? Thank you. Back screen from the weak side. Get into the horns action. Whatever side you pass it to, the opposite side sets a back screen. It is clear as day. And even though I'm watching it all day, I bet you it would still work on me. It's a beautiful play, just like that one. Crozon with the layup. Lauren Cox tries it for two, just short. Marcial out on the wing, all alone on that side of the floor. Bosch decides to take it. She is a little too short to score on Richardson. Lauren Cox with the rebound. Alan Taylor 
with the drive. Oh, too strong. Bosch tries to take the two. It's the side of the backboard. Lauren Cox was running at her. That was a scary, but nice defense there by Bosch for the undersized. She gets it inside to Crozon, gets, gets tripped up. Bosch tries to save it. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Bosch shoots a two and drills it. Eight to four, Canada. USA has to get a bucket here. Running out of time because Canada is only going to get better. Lauren Cox with the layup. Gets fouled. Great concentration there by Boss. Just really knocked down the shot. Hasn't been too many fouls in this game so far. They've really had to work for all of their points or lack thereof. Lauren Cox makes him pay with that free throw. Giles dribbling, decides to take the two and puts it in. Wow. Really took what the defense gave her. Richardson needs this. Nothing. Five to nine. Crozon tries to take it. Richardson with the rebound. She needs to get hot for USA to even have a chance. Lauren Cox decides to take it, misses everything. Giles has really come into her own and finds Crozone all alone under the basket. USA has come down from this deficit before, but it's not looking good. Five to ten. Canada. Team captain Sierra Burdick is looking like, hey, 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 hey. What's going on? Seems like some miscommunication mixed with some fatigue. Not really getting the best shots. It seems like Richardson's really trying to find her rhythm, but running out of time for her to find that rhythm, if you know what I mean. Really impressed with Mayel Giles. She feel like she heard the crowd of her hometown, and she's starting to turn up. USA, this is going to be a big possession. See if you can get a stop, but you can't stop. Giles. Wow. USA really missing Richardson's action right now. Burdick trying to get a fadeaway jumper to go at the end of the shot clock. No good. Oh, she did not clear it. Did not clear it enough. 11-5. Lauren Cox taking the ball out of bounds. Trying to get some act. Oh. Wow. That was a tough push there. Undersized. Marcel was just like, Ugh. I got to do something because she's about to score on me right now. She did something. They're talking about whether that was an intentional foul or not. And they call it one, yes. All right. Lauren Cox with an opportunity to get two points here. That can really help this USA team who are struggling to put some points on the board. Again, if you are just joining us earlier today, USA had a close matchup against Spain where they had a similar deficit. They were down 5-11. to 11. And USA came back, tied it, sent it into overtime, and ended up winning that game. That is a harder way to play basketball. 
but it seems like we're going to have something similar in this matchup if they can stop Giles. Giles, excuse me. Burdick for two. Need it. In and out. Marcial, that's a double dribble. You dribbled, stopped, dribbled again. You can't do that in the basketball. Crowd is starting to get into it. Three minutes. Alan Taylor. Okay, that was a foul. I wanted her to take that shot because two people went down low to Lauren Cox because they know that that's your game plan. Got to be able to take that jumper coming off the screen. Here it is again. Pick and pop with Lauren Cox and puts it in. 8 to 11. Here comes USA. Need this rebound. Marcial follows her shot. Looking for Corazon. She's dead in the water. Outside to Bosch. One second. Running out of time. No shot. No shot. USA needed that turnover. 8 to 11. Let's see what they got for the last 2 minutes and 23 seconds. Can they push through? Looks like they're going to go with some horn action. Now watch. Whatever pass she goes. Backside sets a back screen. Other side sets a back screen. Other guard comes off. You got to be ready to take that shot, Allen Taylor. I need you to take that shot. It's open. She's getting free throws now, though. Big, big free throws here. Got one. Canada has not scored in a while. Cross zone comes up short. Here comes USA. We need one, Richardson. Nice take. Great layup. It's a one-point game. This is exactly what happened. This is deja vu from earlier. Giles with the drop step. Left hand at the buzzer. Oh, my God. Allen's Taylor gets fouled, missed the layup, but is going to the free throw line. Great move here by Mael. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. My Richardson said, uh, uh, take that. You go left hand, I go right hand. Another big free throw. Allen Taylor has been... Knocking them down one more, and it's a tie game. We just experienced this earlier. I hope we get overtime here, too, in the last game of the day. Oh, just come up short. For Sierra Burdick gets the screen from Lauren Cox. A little bit of a spacing issue. Lauren Cox has... Giving it up. Big time turnover. Next point takes the lead. Corazon has also been missing in action for this one. But you know who's not missing in action? Mayel Giles. What a difference from the first game of the day to now. Richardson really having a tough time and comes up short. Not the best shot, in my opinion. 56 seconds. Canada. Corazon off one foot. Can't get the roll. But look at Bosch fighting for it. Gets them another chance. And Sierra Burdick fouls. Feels like Canada is up by 20, but they are only up by one. USA is not completely out of this, but uh, uh, pull up. Woo! Mayo Zhao says, take that with you on the way home. Timeout on the floor. Woo, I need a break. This 
is entertainment. Don't forget to come back and hang out with us tomorrow. We got a full slate of games. Starting at 11.35 a.m. local time for Canada. We will be handing out a prize ceremonial check. Who will it go to? Maybe one of these two teams. It's looking like it. This is some good basketball. Corazon stops and pops. Sierra Burdick with a big rebound. Richardson, 30 seconds left. Lauren Cox wide open. No good. Hard off the rim, but Richardson gets it back. They're down by one. They go inside. Lauren Cox takes another one and rolls off. Oh! Sierra Burdick comes and fouls. They're not at the free throw line yet, though. So they got to get a stop. Got to get a stop. One stop here. They still have time on the shot clock still. Marcial drives, tries to spin, gets caught. Short. Richardson, two seconds. Has to shoot it. Oh, comes up short. USA falls by one point. Oh, wow. Canada hearing it from the hometown fans. Player of the game is without a doubt Mayel Giles. 13-12, low scoring game, but that was a battle. Canada winning the last game of the slate. And here are the highlights. It's going to be a lot of these. Nothing but net. Bosh also came up big with some hustle plays. A couple USA players, MIA, including Richardson. But great passes like that is what kept USA still in the game. They, they were down by a lot, and they came back. They just didn't get the same luck that they got earlier today to tie it, go into overtime, and then pull it out over Spain. But... This was all of the hype that I needed it to be. Canada still has USA's number. USA is now 0-3 against Canada in this season. It's just something about them Canadians. The USA cannot get past. Here is Pool B after day one of the Quebec stop USA 2 and 1 with 50 points, Canada 2 and 1 41, Czech Republic's 1 and 2, Spain 1 and 2. Everybody has beat somebody. Pool B has actually been super super competitive. What a day. That was day 1 of the Quebec stop. Here's what we got so far. Make sure that you come back for day two. I guarantee you. Look at all those close games. There were so many close games, so many nail biters. Come back tomorrow. It's still going to be fun. We see all these players again after some rest, after I rest my voice. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with me again. I'm Jordan Liggins, and I'm so excited for more basketball tomorrow. Can't wait.